Welcome to Friday. Welcome to the long weekend for Canada and the U.S. Oh, yes. This is your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games. Is this when we're supposed to stop wearing white? After Labor Day. Oh, I'm so you're okay. You're just sneaking into the wire. In 60 frames per second, make sure you're watching at 60 <laughs> frames per second, or you're missing half of the action. Half the action. Literally half. Because there's or 60 maybe, of them, and if you're watching at 30... Maybe you're getting all the action, but it's, like, smushed together wrong. No. No, it's just half I is gone? I can't smush it together. Oh, my God. If I could smush it together, I would do that sometimes, actually. Possibly. Possibly. But it actually drops half the frames at 30. Because they're just lazy. It's easier to do that. Because there's so <laughs> many ways of com combining two frames, depending on what those two frames are. Whether they're, like, interlaced. Because some... Uh, some types of video transmission or storage is like every second line and some of it yeah. doubles those lines and if you're moving it's like all jaggedy yeah, how would it put them together anyways without some... a lot of processing uh, yeah exactly because they might not be different <laughs> they might not be the same they might not be a if you're panning they're that, not the yeah. same and then they take averages and, and if you of... are cutting a scene or whatever, right? If you yep. mush two scenes together, that would look weird. And then you add in the factor of PAL, which is a different frame rate at the same time. Yeah. It just throws it right out the window. 720p 80? 80? No. <laughs> <laughs> 1080p 60. As long as it's 60, you're all fine. When did it start saying Atari and Pixel Cam? Last episode. Uh, uh, there are no Ataris or Pixels in the cam at the moment. They take off, of course. When the show starts... Uh, that's the only choices on Twitch. Well, whichever you can handle. As long as it's 60, that's what you want. I don't know if there's any interlacing games today. Yes. Oh, yeah, the first one definitely has some, has some flicker. It's when the flicker comes into effect. So we've got five games today. We've got Stratavox 2600, which is an exclusive world premiere. And we have the developer in the chat, who's Raymond C., who was up the screen a little bit, said he was here. Then we've got a demo platformer, which is not really a game. It's a demo, but I'm like, this is really good. Typo. Yeah, I thought so. I was making fun. <laughs> um, de demo platform by uh, Lila Pojekenpowen. It's a hard name. Um, oh. Lila Pojekenpowen. It's not pronounced like po can pow. <laughs> yeah. Lilla poke Lilla can Lilla Poken Pound. Lilla Poken Pound. <laughs> but you don't pronounce the J's like that. Uh Po Yeah, you don't say the J's. So Did we say po. the J? No, we didn't. Yeah. Um anyway, he posted it. Pyo. Pyo. Po Po Po. Yeah, it's in there somewhere. Uh he posted it <laughs> as a demo and I'm like, this is this is more than a demo. This is pretty pretty amazing and i have to show it on the show and i was thinking oh should i put in the news or make it a game and it's enough to make it a short game so i put it in the game section uh then we're going to be playing zombie crisis by slacker and then head kicker 2.0 by retro lord and then we're going to be going for the activision patch of hero try number two Try number one failed? It failed. It got close. It was 50,000 and something out of 75,000. So I'm a little bit confident, maybe. Mm, I think I can do it, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers, of which there are the most there has ever been ever. It's like, I don't know, 45 or something. It's huge. It's massive. It's a long list, and I'm going to read them now. They're beside Darcy. You can read along. Al Nefurk, Arms Car Coder, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Catalogs, Coconut 81, Dan ABC, Den, Daniel Medina, 2600, Drexel, uh, Emmanuel Ferreira, Glenn Main, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Ojur oh, Rapper, 2600, Johnny WC, 23, Jupiter Storm, 70, Carl G. Croco, 2600, Mark Space, Inc., Metal Atari, 1969, Metal Lunar 7, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strong, Packer, VG, Quahog, 2600, RC7, E, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Sir Cat Legs, Smitty B, 7800, <laughs> Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, Tim of Legend, Teepfos, and Trek MD. And that's the end of the list. A long list. And you can support the show and add your name to the list. And maybe one day I'll stop reading them out and we'll do something else. Um, somebody proposed maybe. 
that I would just read out the new names, and that's Ooh. that's probably a good thing. And a, and then through a month, it's good exercise for you to do it. Uh, breathing exercise, yeah. It, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Names, it, it it is. It's good I can exercise. be an auctioneer. It's day. good word exercise. You're you're maintaining a skill. That's, <laughs> is you it stop a skill doing I need? it, it'll go away. I guess, I guess it is a skill I need because I have to do it still. twice a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true. Or I can. Um, I'm definitely. It. I'm definitely on. Keep doing it. Uh, <laughs> as long as I can, it. until it starts annoying people in the chat. They're not saying anything, so it's. They're not annoyed yet. Um, and you could <laughs> subscribe for free and add your name to the list if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. Uh, with very little, if any, stutter. <laughs> no, no stutter. Pretty good. They're all in the crawl anyway. <laughs> Arena Foot is voting for not reading them out. Or reading them out and being on the crawl. Um, and make sure you follow and subscribe and click like and do all the rest of the things these programs tell you. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you can be up to date on all the cool exclusive world premieres that we do. Like today. Today. In today. the camera. Not at the screen. In camera. Not at the screen. No. they. We still what? haven't uh, gotten the... Uh, <laughs> where would we put our it? minds around we'd want it. We'd want it in the center for the games and we'd want it over in this corner for we need two cameras <laughs> <laughs> but we have we can't put it in the center where the games because we can't see the games then they no, we were really talking about it we we're talking about the you know the the prompt oh yeah that's yeah, true prompter. Yep. and then the prompter would have to go down to the for the most part to the bottom of the message what we really need is for to eye track us and just have the camera zoom around and follow our eyes. <laughs> like they that wouldn't be those weird. Sports games they have like, have you ever seen those cameras that are on? Oh, that run along the. And then they can pull them to the side uh, as well. So it's pretty... it's crazy. It's so awesome. Yeah. It's it's almost like a drone, but not a drone. Um, it's on a wire, so the drone doesn't run out of batteries and hear right, people right. playing the game. I'm sure. Is it? A, uh, oh, it's, but it's and it's really not a drone. Uh. I mean, it's remotely controlled. You could call it a drone but on is it wire. Flying? It's not flying. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, yeah. No, I just wasn't I sure. I guess that's yeah. a requirement of a drone. Mm. It's a robot on a wire. Yeah, I don't... Actually, I don't know the definition, what the limit of a drone is. Like, our ROVs, a lot of people call them drones. And that's underwater. Yeah. Not in the air. So, uh, camera above the TV set. This is our eye line. If the camera is above the TV set, it's quite high. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not there. good. <laughs> it's not good at all. They're putting cameras behind screens now in phones just, oh that's dangerous just releasing it now. now they'll now they'll be able to spy on us and we won't even know i know you i like, mean they could do that anyways they could line it up with cameras we all might not even know there is a camera though now they're just admitting it <laughs> um first time seeing you live welcome yorgi's castle to the live show you might be in europe because this is an early show i have a poll question and the poll question from last show determined that we're playing hero on this show so ah. I'm going to do it again in anticipation that I might get the high score in Hero. Uh, I don't think so, but maybe. Uh, we're going to say what game should I play next time uh, for the patch. And I actually included a, a homebrew in this one. So which patch should I try next? One through five. Let's type it in the chat. Uh, Astronomer, which I've tried couple times really hard mm -hmm. uh fishing derby i think that's a pretty easy one it's a homebrew patch for uh activision game uh pressure cooker which i have tried which is really hard star master there's three levels i think the first level is fairly easy i can get that that would be kind of getting the first one and then trying for the second and then plaque attack which would be medium to hard i, I think I remember plaque attack from Barrie, Ontario, at my neighbor's house. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, your little tube of toothpaste shooting food <laughs> and protecting yeah. your teeth. It's a yeah. very, very unique idea. It's really, really cool, especially the teeth, and they go, and they disappear. Then you have a mouthful of no teeth. Um, in mail, news, and feedback, very exciting development. This, this has been plaguing me, trying to get it to work. The plus mm. cart. And for people who don't know what the plus cart is, it is a cartridge you put in your Atari. This happened before. In this Atari. Atari shows up when the screen oh, is covered. No. Let me turn that off for a second. Uh, poll question. Oh. Oh. The plus cart fell off the Atari. <laughs> it won't work if plus you don't have it. on the Atari. <laughs> if you don't have it in your Atari, what or on your Atari. Doing that? You 
you don't, chewing that bite? Don't put it in your Atari. Or, uh, or, uh, let's turn on the poll question again. We need an Atari mic for a perk. Purr. Oh, that would be good. <laughs> Hanging around his neck. Yeah. <laughs> that would <just> um, <laughs> plus cart for the Atari. Yeah. You put it in. There's there's no games on it. Mm -hmm. There's no SD card. There's no USB port either. What it does is it has a Wi-Fi card in it, a uh, Wi-Fi chip, mm -hmm. and you can either program it through the interface, like through a TV, and 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 uh, not program it, but set it up uh, by connecting it to your Wi-Fi. And then it connects to a game reservoir, a reservoir of games. And you can download and play those games from the internet. And it also has a lot of other abilities as well. But I got this months ago, many months ago, and I've been struggling forever to get it to hook up. And you can also, um, use your phone and connect your phone to the Wi-Fi on here mm. and set it up through your phone, which I've been doing because it's much easier to type on your phone than scroll through a list of yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, numbers and letters. Um, but I could not get it working forever and I couldn't figure it out. I tried everything that everybody suggested online. Um, I looked up the router and the compatibilities between the router and the Wi-Fi chip that's on here tried absolutely everything I even bought a new router <laughs> and that didn't work <laughs> um but al nefer has been um why no rj45 <laughs> uh that would be interesting and kind of cool uh where do you apply by the plus card we're going to go over more details on tuesday because i have it working now uh -huh. um so but you can ask al nefer who was in the chat or was in the chat he's the guy who's been helping me with this and mm -hmm. the guy who makes this helps develop this something i have to do more research but he is the guy to talk to i got it working yesterday and ironically it was nothing nothing to do with anything anybody mentioned online no help i could have never looked it up <laughs> or maybe maybe i could have looked it up but i kind of stumbled it on by accident uh, testing it out what it is is it gives you a list of all the routers that are nearby i see all my neighbors routers on the screen or on my phone mm -hmm. and you know i click on my router and then type in my password and it's like error you can't and i've tried to connect it to both routers nothing nothing at all uh, just i don't know why i did this but i changed the name of my router and that's what did it oh I was able to connect to it after I changed did the you, name of my router. Did your router name have spaces or something in it? No spaces, but it's crazy. It is a crazy name. It's got non-alphanumeric characters oh. in it. And I'm guessing somewhere along the line, either the chip in here or the software interface is like, no, alphanumeric only for the router name. But the funny thing is, you could see the router. You could even select the router. And then it prompts you for a password and then just goes, nah, nah. So anybody who's doing this, um, <laughs> change your name of your router. And most routers have just normal names, but mine has a two or more, um, <laughs> non-alphanumeric characters. And then it, then it worked just automatically worked. There were a couple things that I did have to do to make it work, but, um, anyway, we're doing a special on the plus cart. It Next is funny how when a Tuesday. thing doesn't work, it's yeah. always two or more problems, not one problem. Oh, yeah. If it either works or there's <laughs> multiple problems. Because if it was one problem, you'd probably solve it fairly quick. Yeah. It's the it's, it's usually a combination. Oh, it's that and that. But I've tried both independently. Yeah. But this, one, this problem was not listed anywhere. But it's not something you would think of, right? Yeah. Anyway, we're doing yeah, a, no, I wouldn't have thought of that. doing a special on the plus card and doing a bunch of fun things with it and doing a world debut of something that we're going to be playing on the plus card and I'm going to try and get you involved in it remotely. Ooh, what could that be? <laughs> <laughs> um, we played we played uh, games remotely before uh, when uh, when the lockdown. Yeah, whatever we did. Yeah, the, the, web. the remote thing, but yeah. we did it 
both in a browser, right? Mm -hmm. This time we're going to be doing it with an actual console. You're going to be doing it with a browser because you don't have an actual console. You have a Retron 77, which doesn't work with special yeah. cards. I'd have to... I'd have to... Buy an Atari. Yeah. And then capture the video. <laughs> and then send the video to me and yourself. Yeah. It's well, sending it to yourself is pretty easy. Sending to me? Yeah, that Actually, would... all of that. That's it's not the, hard. It's the hard. converting it to... to uh, Capturing it. Yeah. To VGA. Or not VGA, to HDMI. HDMI. That's the yeah, you'd have part. to get uh, an upscaler and a VCR as well because there's no upscaler that takes RF because that would be what it was unless you got bought a modded yeah, yeah, yeah. Atari. Yeah, so if you, Actually, I would just if you used you RF, If you used RF, you could use it with a VCR? Yes, because a uh, right VCR, kind of VCR would take any VCR because they all take... Um, RF in yeah. on channel two or three or right. four or whatever. Right. Yeah. Or all the channels, actually. It's a really good one. There you go. If you want uh, if you want one, PM uh, Al Nefer at Atari Age. Um, anyway, that's all the news because we have a lot of games to get to today. Um, the first one is... Which is to say that there's more news, but we're withholding it from you. And that is a lie. <laughs> there is no news. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would say news if there was. <laughs> you have to wait for your news patiently to the end of the show. No, there's no news. <laughs> um, the first game we're going to be playing is Stratovox 2600. This is exclusive, work in progress, world premiere by Carlos Centeno. Uh, probably pronouncing that wrong. Uh, Raymond C. Uh, this build is from September 3rd, yesterday, 2020. 32K DPC Plus uh, game. Other games he's made, this one, Stratavox 2600, and The End, which is coming out in boxed form very soon from Atari Age. Are you putting The End out in boxed form? No, that's Atari Age, not Atari. Um, so Wikipedia says Stratavox, known in Japan as Speak and Rescue, is a 1980 arcade fixed shooter developed and published in Japan by Sun Electronics and released in North America, Taito. It is the first video game with voice synthesis. Not voice recording. Voice synthesis. Mm. Um, do you know what the difference is? Well, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, the gist of it, I mean, synthesis yeah. is that you tell what you want it to say and it says it. And voice yes. recording is you say it and you record it and yes. it says it. And vo further to that, voice synthesis can probably be made up in two ways. It's made up in one way, but you can imp implement it in two ways. We got a double. We uh, got a double sighting here. A double cat sighting. Oh, that's not it. Uh, turn off the whole question. Oh no! <laughs> I turned off the webcam. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, go further that way, Pixel. Anyway, we'll turn on the poll after. Um, voice synthesis is. Uh, the computer making a voice made up of non-recorded sounds, either phenomes, like ah, oh, e, i, m, n, t, ts, those things, and they string them together. Right. Or more than that, like p, uh, pl, pl, like two things mm -hmm. strung together. So this is the first um, video game made with voice synthesis. So a computer generating the voice rather than a pre-recorded. Yeah. Uh, the player must shoot UFOs in attempting to kidnap astronauts that appear on the right side of the screen. Oh, oh cat fight. God, violence. Oh my goodness. You see the violence? <laughs> cat violence. Uh, would you like to play a game? <laughs> uh, ah! If all the astronauts are kidnapped, the game is over. Among the voices the player hears are the phrases, help me, help me, very good, we'll be back, and lucky. The phrase, help me, is played during the attract mode. Uh, the Japanese version of the game features Japanese speech. Imagine that. Uh, <laughs> Tasu Kiti. Tasu Keti? It's probably Keti. Tasu Keti. Uh, instead of help me. What? It seems to be disconnected again. Yeah, I don't know why the laptop does that. Luckily, this is... I mean, that's not good. Where did you learn to fly? Where did you learn to fly? That's recorded. Would you like to play a game as more phenomes? Um, so let's take a look at kicking people off. Can we do this? 
There we go. There we go. All gone. <laughs> um, so we're going to take a look at the arcade version of this game. So it gives you an idea of what the game looks like. And this is the Japanese version of it. I'm going to drag that over there. We'll go big. We'll go home. And I think that... Does that cut it off? Nope, that's pretty good. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it down so I don't blow your eardrums like I usually do when I start playing <laughs> something. Okay, so there's the attract screen. So there uh, on the right hand side are your astronauts that you're trying to save and there are the enemies coming to kill or coming to uh, kidnap. If they get the to the bottom they do it? Uh, this guy's a good player. Well maybe he'll let one through. Nope. <laughs> they fly around. Mm -hmm. I think that's just sound effects. No voices. I don't know if there is voices in this recording. I haven't heard one yet. Uh, they fly around. Oh, maybe we'll let one through now. We'll see. There you go. Um, so they fly around and then they go up and capture it and fly away with it. Fly with the astronaut. And um, the top left is how many enemy ships you have left to kill. Ah. And uh, you're on a moon and the astronauts are close by on a, a, bigger, green planet. a bigger green planet, in fact. So I guess that's the moon of the planet. Because by the curvature, you can tell it's bigger. Um, and some funny early 1980s uh, sound effects. <laughs> oh. boom, doom, 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 doom. Okay, so I didn't know I have actually played a kind of, I played two kind of ports of this game, because this game was never ported to any system, as far as I know. So this will be the first port of this game to any system. Um, I used to play this game quite a bit on the C64. I don't know if anybody else has ever uh, seen or heard of this game. It's called uh, Bandits. And I played the hell out of this game. And it's got the same mechanics, but they take quite a bit further. Um, so you're a ship on the bottom of the screen. I'll have to wait for it to... Maybe we'll skip ahead. I don't know how long this... Yeah, the intro's a bit long. There we go. You got dropped oh, off. And they're coming to steal fruit. Yeah, your precious fruit, which no. is a staple of the yeah, early this is 1980s definitely games. The, this is definitely that uh, yeah. the same game. Hey, yeah, they're no moving question. around the same. And the, it's the, the stack, like the two sides, really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this game is so much fun. It adds a lot more um, enemies and characters. Um, not the beginning levels, and also you have shield. You can see at the bottom here, uh, the purple along the bottom. No, they're gonna get your plums. Get that guy to get it. Yeah, I got. But do you lose back. the plum? Yeah, you do. You lose it? Yeah. Uh, if he takes it away, you lose it. And no, if I mean, if you plum, shoot it. Oh no, no, no! You get it back. Okay. Um, so let's skip ahead, and there's like super awesome bouncy balls that bounce around. Uh, on this and then there are also like centipede like guys that have bombs if you shoot them they drop the bomb then you have to shoot the bomb and if you don't shoot the bomb it's like jam at the bottom of the screen that you can't get past anyway i love this game it was so much fun <laughs> i played the hell out of this game okay and this uh this arcade game was also an influence for spider fighter as well on the Atari 2600. I don't know. I'm sure everybody's seen Spider Fighter, but I will play it again just to make sure. Uh, that's a review. That's a review. That's probably just somebody playing it. Don't need no talking. No talking. It's quite different, but there's still fruit. They're still running around. They come on the screen. And eventually they go up and steal your fruit. But there's a bit more variation of this because there's evolution of the enemies. Uh, they change from one thing to another. And your bullets magically move with you. 
Uh, yes, a lot of uh, 2600 games uh, did that um, because I think that is like the default setting for the missiles of the player uh. to be to move with you. <laughs> you have to do something special to make them not move with you. I haven't done enough programming yet <laughs> to know that. Um, and I have the patch for this game, so I may I got the Activision score for this game. It is an awesome game. It's one of my favorite 2600 games. Great, great shooter. Anyway, so that is kind of good. the background. Oh, it's really, really, really like good. The, well made. The sprites are very uh, cool looking. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Spider Fighter is a very well made game. Lots of uh, variety in the movements and the enemies and the colors and the graphics. Yeah, it was, oh, Yorgis Castle said it was going to just remind me of Spider Fighter. Lost several hours several days um the exploding guys are cool that make the cluster bomb explosions yep it's it's very very cool um but this particular like the original version has not been uh ported directly until now so he says uh he contacted me a couple days ago he said hello james i'm finished my second homebrew for the atari 2600 stratavox 2600 and then he goes into some uh instructions which we'll read out when we start playing I wish to add voice to this game using the Atari Vox Plus. However, reading the Atari Basic Manual, I found out that it may not be possible because the game uses DPC Plus. The manual says that when using DPC Plus, the V blank should be avoided and it is needed for the Atari Vox pro program routines. So there's some sort of conflict between programming and Atari Basic um, where it's already being used for the uh, programming yeah. and that's where the Atari Vox needs to be used. But I'm sure somebody else can maybe help out um, Raymond C. with that and maybe be able to incorporate the Atari Vox into the game because it's kind of an important thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Being the first ever arcade game to have speech, it would be very good to have speech in the 2600 port of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that would be yeah. awesome. Um, each missile only needs a vertical position. The horizontal position is all the same. For the moving bullet. Yeah, okay. So it only needs a vertical position, but you if you give it vertical and horizontal, then it doesn't stick with the sure. player, probably. I think you have to reposition. You have to reposition the player, like tell it a new horizontal position. Because when you draw your character down the screen, it stays in the same place mm -hmm. unless you tell it to move to a new place. And the missile and the player share a lot of things. Mm -hmm. They share a color. Um, and I'm guessing a position as well. So you have to reposition your missile and your player if you have both on the screen. Um, so as you're drawing it, you have to tell it new color, new color, new color, every line. Yeah. So let's get into it. Or actually, Darcy, get into it. Atari Fox Plus. Ready. Can't see it. Not yet. I can't see it, James. What's wrong? Something's wrong. Not yet. Oh, they can. They saw it before you. But soon you'll see it. Here we go. That's today. I keep it easy. Only one date I try and keep one date at a time now. Stratovax. Yes, that's the one. That's the one. Help me. Okay. Stratovax, help me. So he's got a little uh, tile screen representing the moon and the stolen astronaut oh and, and a uh, high score uh, score table. table 100 points for the reds uh 50 points for the yellow ships and who knows for the astronaut and the yellow what if the red steal the 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 guy who knows okay so it is button to start and we'll get make sure all the volumes are good Did you steal one? Oh, I stole the best. Yes, there you go. I'll turn up the volume here just a little bit. Yeah, at a certain point, I stand no chance of getting them because they're so far away. Like you have. Oh, to... you have to know the timing really well. Uh, use the joystick to move your spaceship left or right and press the button to fire. You have to destroy 12 UFOs to complete the first level. On the second level, you have to destroy 15 UFOs, then 18, 21, 24, and so on. Oh, so close. Uh, at the end of each level, you receive 100 bonus points for each astronaut not kidnapped. 
Novice players will also receive an extra astronaut without exceeding the maximum 10 astronauts on the screen at once. Nice. Uh, reach 5,000 points and receive an extra spaceship. So you got the spaceships on the bottom left in the blue. Uh, and you got your score on the bottom. I'm not sure what the yellow, uh, the white and the green bars are on the left bottom there. No. Might be level. All right. Good shot. Bonus. Six. There's your 100 points. Some intelligent uh, flicker going on there. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, sorry, astronauts. You're doomed. <laughs> There's no chance that you will survive this. <gasps> apparently, uh, <laughs> apparently there was. You lied. You lied. There was some chance. Ah. Oh, it's a level counter. Oh yeah. Okay, I can see two now. So you've got the green bar, and then I'm there's two. So worried two about those astronauts, I forgot to care about my own health. Now, if there's two or more spaceships, nice, getting better. Two or more spaceships at the end. If you don't shoot both of them, they they go off the screen slowly. But now it's going to go off fast. Oh. Um, UFOs carrying an astronaut score random points from 300 to 1,000, depending on, depending on their speed and color. Okay, so slow ones would be less points. That was 500 points. There are 36 levels in the game. Good luck getting to that. It gets hard. Um, levels 1 through 4 are the easiest. The real action starts at level 5. You can barely see your missiles when you fire. Really? Oh, because yeah, it's red on black? Yeah. What are what the original colors were? It's probably red. I mean, it's easy enough color to change. You don't want to make it white. Nice. What were those crazy black bars on the left side, side of the Atari game? I don't see those in Homebrew. Yeah, those are... Um, repositioning bars and they're usually hidden in the black what um no. get it oh no. um activision was very good about hiding those bars as, as well so um not just oh, homebrew yeah sorry astronauts bye bye <laughs> bye bye astronauts this is the level you can get that one or yeah just in time Scoring seems strange. You get more points for letting them capture you guys and shooting them, and not good for preventing vo uh, point scumming and high scores. I mean, that is a tactic. Um, I mean, it's part of the game. It's part of the original arcade game. Whoa, good job. That one went right through them. H move bars. I was right. Um, yeah, you can either keep the background black there, or there is another technique as well. Uh, I can't remember what the other technique is. Why is it all jumpy? See all jumpy. See the screen jumping? Ooh. It's not the game. The game's the game's very solid. Um, okay. I wished, yep, yeah, got that. So I uh, asked him some questions about uh, himself and the game. It's interesting how, like, the way it works is that for the first one, you seem to have more opportunity to, like, kill them. And then the more ships there are, the less time you have to kill them. <laughs> The, the more ships? Oh. Yeah. There's more ships to kill, and, and you have less time. time to do it before they go in for the kill. <laughs> it's a higher level. So it kind of makes sense. Kind of. No, it doesn't. I mean, it's supposed to be. <laughs> but yeah, that's true. It's like, oh, we added a ship and gave you less time. You might actually make it to the next level. Level five. Oh. I love the colors you pick for this. Yeah, they stand out really well. Oh no! One guy left! And five more ships to kill. Oh, it's gonna be fast. Two left. 
Oh, it's going to be fast again. Nice. <laughs> the score is like antsy. It is, yeah. Very antsy like uh, font. Um, why did you choose to port uh, Stratavox to the 2600? Because Stratavox was never ported to 2600, and I always oh my wanted. <laughs> he really uh, amped up the difficulty this time. <laughs> Rescue your guy! Oh no! no. Almost. Oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to pretty much be on the uh... oh death to you. <laughs> uh, become one of us. <laughs> All right, your turn. Okay, you can read out the uh, interview questions. I did. Where are they? So you got 1350 starting, starting there. With the first one? Yeah. Why did you choose it to port Why did you choose it to port Stratavox to the 2600? Because Stratavox was never ported to the Atari 2600 and I always wanted to play this game on the Atari. Also Stratavox is a uh. game that like the end cannot be played forever. Even if you become an expert playing with it all your reserve spaceships intact, sooner or later the game is going to be over because all the astronauts will be kidnapped. Combined with the fact that your last game was the end, do you have an affinity for shooter games? Are they your favorite game? Yeah, shooter games are my favorite game. I always choose to play this type of game over any other. In fact, every time I think of my next game to port to the Atari 2600, arcade games like Moon Shuttle, Zero Hour, or Eagle come to mind. Do you have a special connection to Stratavox? Remember, rem remember playing it in the arcade in the 80s, or is it a more recent discovery? Yes, I do have a special connection. I played it a lot when I was a kid. In 1980, when I was 12 years old, I got a part-time job at a local arcade. My job was very simple, changing a dollar bill for quarters. <laughs> I spent there seven hours a day, so I remember the day I saw Stratavox for the first time. I was really impressed by the brand new taking game as an employee. As an employee, I had the privilege to play every single game for free at least one hour before closing, so I played Stratavox almost every day. The big feature on the arcade version is that it's the first game with voice synthesis. When I announced it was going to be on the show, there were a number of people asking if it would have voices in the game. That's my question. Yeah. Do you plan on adding voices either through software with the new SAM program or through Atari Vox? Yes, I want to add voice to this game. I have been looking for information about programming the Atari Vox Plus in Atari Basic using the DPC Plus kernel. Not sure if it is going to work, but now that you mentioned the new SAM program, I think I will try that option as well. What is left on your to-do list for the game? The game is finished and fully playable. The only thing left are the, video are the voices. He wrote with a new version he sent yesterday. I forgot to mention that you can set the left difficulty switch to A for expert mode. The aliens will attack at the same time from the beginning, and you will not receive a bonus astronaut at the end of each level. Let's see if you can beat my score. Doubt it. What's his score? I think it's later. Doesn't say. Oh god. Yeah, technically, like the best method I've found, not not at later levels, is to actually let them capture your guy. Oh, you get more points for one. You get more points. Hmm. Two, you don't run the risk of only one enemy ship capturing your guy and zooming off with it. Yeah, yeah, I, I noticed that. Yeah. Oh, luckily I ended up with two at the end. Cats are fighting. Yay! Yeah, a little bit of screen jumping. I'm not, I'm, that's, that's my equipment. I'm not sure what's going on. With the screen jumping, you can see like artifacts. What level is this? No, four. I'm gonna do the same tactic again. Shoot it down to two. Of course, you do run the risk of uh, letting him take your guy. Mm -hmm. Ah! And if you don't shoot those ships, they get recycled. Yes, they come attack you again. Which is cool. Yeah, very, very cool. hard to, uh, to gauge where it is at the top. I mean, you get better and better at... Uh, oh, God. Oops. Oh, my God. 
see how fast. Like, you can't catch up to him. He goes the Well, you were on the wrong speed. side of the screen. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't help. Oh, my God. What am I doing? No! And he comes back again. Mm -hmm. Hungry. Hungry. For more astronauts. Okay, level five, the death level. Yeah, but you have all your astronauts left. Yeah, I won't. Because <laughs> they'll all be stolen in short order. I don't know what the best tactic is for this. Just shoot. I don't have the lead. Yeah, just just take them all out, I think. There's no way I can do it on this guy. I'm going to have to let him take my astronaut. Ah! Way. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, it's rough, all right. Get out of the way. Just in time. There Did anybody are. see Go. the new HBO sci fi Race by Wolves? I was watching it last night. It's good. What's it about? Um, yeah, it's just some kids raised by wolves. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There are, so far, there are no wolves involved. There's no wolves at all. It's by, uh, what's his face? Uh, like somebody's in it or somebody made it? Who's the guy? Oh my God. He, did he direct oh my aliens? God. Ridley Scott. R Ridley Scott, yeah, it's Ridley Scott. And so he it has did. androids in it, and they're okay. aliens type androids. In It's not aliens. It's uh, world, for, so far as I can tell, at all. Um, ah! Uh, but it has... It has milky innard aliens. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that... Uh, oh my god, that was a random shot. Um, does that mean maybe that it's the same universe? Uh, implying that? Well, my, oh. my feeling was that I didn't see anything to suggest that it Apart from that detail, it, ah! it didn't seem like it was. Mm. Oh no! No, it's easier. No, it's not. It would be easier if you'd gone over to this side because no. be, yes, because it would move, and those other ships wouldn't be in the way. True. It moving slow at this Ant point can be part of the problem. One guy left. Oh my god! Anticipating that it's only one ship left that's stealing. Yeah, yeah. you go to the left for sure. Yeah, for sure. Oh my god. I, their yeah. movement patterns are changing. The thing is, like, if they're moving really slow, I guess starting on the right helps because yes, you, get you might get a second shot. Yeah. But if they're but if they're moving faster, you're only getting one. If oh yeah, if one for you only <laughs> yeah, there's only one, and if it misses, you can't get yeah. another one because the timing is yeah off. Well, I suppose yeah. Well, yeah, it depends. I suppose if you keep moving, you might get a second shot. Yeah, this if tactic you shot of, too early. of eliminating one of them, and then and then doing it while they're slow, is definitely the best because there's no way I can get all three in time. But I can maybe get two. The only way. Oh my god. Uh oh. Last guy. Oh no, it's fast. And it's over. <laughs> Not We've bad. For you. 25 9. Uh, using DPC Plus. Yes. Do you, did you code in C then? No, I code in Batari Basic. Yeah. Uh, luckily, moving is slower isn't uh, so helpful on the later levels with multiple squadrons. Yeah. Um, so I think the tactic that I used... Why is it so jumpy? Stop being jumpy! Not like fiddling with cables is going to do anything. Stop being jumpy. Okay. You give it one more go. I have a little bit more to read out. 
So I got 25.9, and he sent me his... Oh, he did... Oh, I didn't write it down. What score did he get? Let's see. He definitely did not get close to his score. Because obviously him playing it since 1980 and making the game and testing the game. Uh, 38,950. I think I could do a little bit better now I've got a developed tactic of... Oh my god. Oh really, for some reason I wasn't aware of Batari Basic allowed DPC, not a 2600 coder. Yeah, so Batari Basic has a DPC plus module that allows you to do more advanced things, which is handy. Um, and I asked Daryl Spice Jr. when I was interviewing him about uh, further modules for... I think I was, I was talking to him about DPC Plus and Atari Basic and his work with uh, CDFJ and even Bus and saying, well, are you gonna, are, will there be a module for CDFJ or Bus being into Atari Basic? But he's actually making his own new programming language, Spice C, that is based on like C type coding. And that. Oh. See, I don't know what I would do on this level because it's challenging. Like, you can sh if you can shoot both at once, I'd probably go for trying to shoot both. Because then you get all the chances there, and you get the additional chance of him going across the top, which is not easy. But... Arenafoot's back on his phone. Welcome back, Arenafoot. Oh! No. I don't need those ships. <laughs> I, I know. I, I was telling Raymond C that... Um, I mean, I died once. Oh, no. Lies. Oh, you done? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to give it one more go. Um, but I was telling Raymond C that it's like, uh, I don't... The ships don't come into play too much. Um, because you don't really die too much in this by getting shot by the bullets. Um, because the first version he sent me didn't have very many bullets. Let's see if I can do the thing I did. Ah! Almost. Cats are bad again. Ah. If you, you can get a rhythm <laughs> that you can shoot every single ship on the first level. It doesn't work for any other levels, because there's two ships. That's a quick way to get past the first level. And I got 25,000 something, something, something. Oh god. Ugh. Uh, I'll just let you guys get it. You do get more points. So if you're going for points, you just let these guys take the, take the astronauts. doing it the way I did it. <laughs> do it the way I do it. <laughs> it's the best way. Because it works for me. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We're missing out on chats. I will be using Spice C when it becomes available. Only use Batar Basic right now because I don't really want to own my own kernel Spice with... Ah! Ran out of time. I'm going to do that because there's not much time. Oh, extra life. Love that bell dinging. No! Oh. Love the bell dinging. Extra life got. Oh no, I shot. No. Whoa. See, on this one, um, they go straight for it. But they fly straight at you, and you have a good shot. To shoot, you get a good chance to shoot them. Very true. I think I screwed up this chat by restarting the. You did. Re Refreshing the browser. Because then it all goes away. No. No. You can't catch up. I'm gonna let you guys go take my astronaut. 
He goes for a little ride. Pff, lost two of them, but I gained one back. Oh, we have to play the advanced version too. Right after this. Uh, which doesn't give you a extra. Oh my god. Doesn't give you an extra life. You only get our extra astronaut. No, it gives you every level. It doesn't give you an extra astronaut every level. Or ever, I think. Yeah, that's what it said. It said it does not give you the extra astronaut. Oh my god! Damn it! Which is tough because uh, you uh, <laughs> sometimes know. lose those astronauts. I do. I mean, don't not... you know that they're. A valuable commodity. It takes a lot to train an astronaut. You're just letting these aliens have them for free. Like, they're <laughs> like, why train astronauts? We can just go kidnap them. Well, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Oh my god! I don't think I'll be besting my last score. <laughs> <laughs> no! No, why do you keep messing? I don't know. <laughs> it's the worst thing to do. And that's the second worst thing to do. Actually, this is the worst <laughs> thing to do. Oh, no. Not listening to my own advice. Uh, did you finish watching uh, High Score? The yes. documentary? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Six episodes, yeah. Um, yeah, they had really good uh, interviews with really good people in it. Yeah. The structure was a bloody mess, but um, I think. Because they just jump all over the place. Um, they, they put it into eras, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dying. So dying. Um, but then they jump around with the timeline. Yeah, they jump around with the timeline a bit. Um, and also... They don't really go into depth, like, they, it seems like it's going to be a history lesson on video games, but they kind of just concentrate on very, very specific things. Yeah. Rather than, this happened, then this happened, then this happened, then we're going to talk to a person that was part of this era. Um, it's like, more like, ah, uh, no, no, it's all over, they're going to, oh, I guess it finishes out the level, or finishes yeah. out that wave. Oh, they don't even... Do well, because there's no one to steal. <laughs> They're like, They're like we oh, we done. got to the astronaut queue and it's <laughs> empty. Refill the magazine. Uh, somebody told me somebody should make a new language called D. Tired of C. <laughs> it already exists. B minus. <laughs> yes, high score was, was good. Not the best video game. To, no, it's not. But I think if you're looking for interviews with interesting people, it's great. But don't go to it looking for a history lesson no, in video no, games. No, no, it's, no. it's just so... It just glosses over. You got 14,000... It, it skipped the Commodore entirely. I know! But it was, uh, it was essentially it's a best console selling. video games until it got to the last era. And then it was like... And then PC was important. <laughs> yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. That's the problem. It, it, it skips over some really important stuff. Hi. Come here. So we're gonna play it on hard now. I can't remember what the difference is. Oh, it goes Floop. right to right to three ships. Floop. Oh, right to level five, pretty much. Yeah, it said that too, actually. Yeah. Skip right to level five. It said it skips right to the the ships coming okay. down. Altogether. So if you want, oh my god, oh I got it. <laughs> so if you want practice on level five, which this... is where you need the practice. Oh yeah, this is. I don't know if it gets. Harder than this, because I'm not good enough to tell it, show you. <laughs> oh, I need to shoot that guy. No, 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 no. Oh. Can't catch up. Yeah, but you went. Through, uh, never mind. I know. You're doing the best you can. You're a good player. <laughs> You're a good player. You don't deserve the harassment that I give you. There, I did it. I did it. You got I it. I did the way you said to do it, and it worked. All right. So that's uh, proof, and I won't get an extra astronaut. Give me an extra astronaut. No! no. <laughs> you, only, you only have what you have. <laughs> so just shoot one. Let him steal. Astronaut goes for a ride. I've asked this before, him. I think. No! Like, has anybody oh. played Fission Superstar X? It's on Steam. It's 
worth asking again. Might be a different crowd. Might be a different crowd. Yep. It's a great shooter. Um, it's not a. F I learned the uh, terminology fixed shooter. This is a fixed ah. shooter where you are on one axis. Um, even Tempest is a fixed shooter, even though it goes in a circle. Because right. you're still on a one axis. You're on yeah, one yeah. axis. Same with um, uh, what is that one? Um, Gyrus, where you're you're going. It's kind of like uh, Tempest, where you're going around, but the spaceships come from the outside, in. And you're in the center. Uh, you're kind of an outside ring. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like Tempest, but it's very the ships are on the other side, okay. Yeah, the ships come from the other side, and then they and come then they past pass you, through and they you. can hit yeah, you yeah. as well, so. There we go. Yeah, this is great practice for higher levels. Yeah. How long did it take you to create this? Four months. That's pretty good. I've been working on mine, but not steadily. <laughs> so it's taken me a lot longer than four months. No! I gotta kill you! No! Go over to the left! Yes. Nice. That's the way to do it. No! Yes! Ah! <laughs> Just barely every time. Just barely rescuing myself. <laughs> like it was scripted in a film. Nice! Didn't lose a guy on that level. Pretty damn good. This is great practice. Yeah, if you uh, oh no no no, if three fly down and you shoot one, Gosh. any ones that you don't shoot, they get bad added back to the uh, queue. Yeah, so you really do want to try and eliminate both of them as they're flying off if you can yeah yeah it, you have a big ship fission fission superstar x you have a big ship and when you start off you're not moving very fast either <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's like you gain abilities as you go yeah. better weapons better armor yeah it has it's, it has roguelike uh stuff in it like each time you play it you'll end up with different things so you go into the shops and you buy different things and maybe there's nothing good or maybe and the enemies good stuff. Are randomized or the kind of levels are a bit randomized you don't know exactly yeah you don't know get. what you're getting because it's a different uh a different group of what you get each level and, same first enemy. and there's backgrounds like settings so there's deep space which is nothing and then there's like um an asteroid field and then asteroids are like shooting by you and you have to contend with them as well and there's like a giant uh, uh ship eating uh moon <laughs> that flies across the screen in some of them and it's pretty crazy. But the level end bosses are always the same. Like level one end bosses the same. Yeah, level yeah. Two yeah those are all the same. You can't really change that up. Yeah. I guess you could. You could switch them around and then make a weak level 10 boss for level in, one. In roguelikes, they don't usually have... The bosses are usually the same. They might be like a different map, like a randomized map or something, but they're usually yeah. the same. Yeah. So to point grab, you would only want to kill the astronaut once each time to extend rounds and points. Yes. To to really get the maximum points, you would shoot oh, once around. So you only get bonus if they have the asteroid uh, astronaut. It's yes. not just when they're at the top; if they no. have to have the astronaut. Yeah. Ah, so yes, that's what you would do. I mean, that's risky, and it's harder. But that's how you get the most points, hundred percent. And it would be it random depends. points. Too. It depends on how often you miss, because you would only get the most points if you continued to play longer than you would otherwise. The thing that would yes. get you the most points, because it, the thing that would get you the most points is if you never stopped playing. <laughs> yes, and then if you're really good you would, at the game. <laughs> but it would but get it you the most harder. points per level. Yeah. But if you're able to do really well on the hardest maxed out level, say whatever, level 10 it maxes out at? I, think you can, I can't remember. But whatever level it maxes out at, mm -hmm. and you can play forever doing that, you don't need to do that points scumming. but you still would reach the infinite you would never reach the infinite max number but you would get to the you would get through you would go you would rise up the infinite stack of numbers quicker if you did it actually you might not be quicker 
because it, would be. it depends on no it depends on which is quicker is ah. it quicker to just shoot you could just the, your first thing on level one is ba -ba bam ba -ba bam ba -ba -bam. that's level the quickest way fast you, you can't can get fast. you can't get points over time quicker than that so what were the points it was 50, 50 and 100, and 100 and then 300 points. to a thousand so but the minimum, 300 to a thousand is at the end of the round for not losing astronauts right no that's a uh, a ufo carrying an astronaut so minimum uh, 300 and that's three times so, so but does it but it definite. takes three times as long it could take three times as long to wait so that doesn't matter but that's minimum yeah that's true that's true because as soon as you shoot those we're talking ships, about points per second, <laughs> points per second. <laughs> it is points not per just second. points per level points per level you are absolutely correct because you would get because the most if it was points per level. That goes back to that fishing game that I played. Yeah, he was. Uh, Thunker says he was assuming con the contest would limit the gameplay to the first n levels, and that makes sense. That's very possible. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because you could play forever, and you don't want that. And they'd probably set it to hard for the contest because yeah, yeah. just to in, get it fast. In Fission Superstar X, yeah, it's in our plan it's it's a ridiculous uh setting. You're in our solar system, you start um on planet X, right. and then you are flying with a fission bomb on your ship, and on each planet you do a show. It's Fission Superstar X <laughs> and it sits on a stage and does nothing and everybody looks at it and then you move on to the next planet. Um, but the way you progress through it is that the first time you get to a planet, you explode the bomb and destroy the planet, Sorry, <laughs> and then you get a new ship, <laughs> and then you play through again. So, it's ridiculous. Anyways. Um, so, awesome game. Uh, it looks like it's a really faithful adaption, a port, of the uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. arcade game, yep. like, as much as you could make it on a 2600. Yep. It's got... The ships, it's got all the basic it's elements, and that's the, what you want. The, the image, like the the visuals all are all correct. Yeah. And it's got in the right places. And if you're porting and not just making a game inspired by yes. it's important to make it look as much <laughs> like the other one. Like remember the, right... the Pac-Man thing? Yeah. Like, I and and I gotta admit, I thought I remember at the time being like, that's not Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Pac-Man, but it's not Pac-Man. It's not Pac-Man. Like that's <laughs> Pac-Man I mean, I used to play the uh, there was one with ants, and there was a yes. a bad Pac-Man version on the Trash Eighty. The that uh, the ant one was like a zoomed in, like you could see where you were. It was like a big, was huge. Yeah, and then where you were was zoomed in. Yeah, yeah. That was cool. Yeah, because yeah. that added a whole new element. It was like a yeah. huge Pac-Man play field, but you could only see your part, which is very much like the GameCube um, multiplayer game of Pac-Man. Uh, where you as the ghosts can only see a tiny portion. Like four people play as the ghosts and one person plays as Pac-Man. The person playing a Pac-Man plays on um, the Game Boy, I think, uh, or the uh, DS. And the four people playing as ghosts play on the TV. Ah. And the ghosts can only see a little bit around them. So it gives like that... That's cool. That weight. So, because if you were playing a ghost and you could see the whole screen, you could pen them in right directly. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Pac-Man's dead. Yeah, very cool. So we're having connection connection problems. Um, and no that's problem. up to date. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Which could not be assumed. <laughs> no, it can't be. So Raven, awesome adaption. Uh, it's really fun to play. It looks good. It's it ramps up difficulty very well, I think. Especially now that I'm more used to the shooting one when the three come out and there's two waves coming at once. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's really good. I, I don't know what he could improve, really. Except he wants to add voice. So if anybody has um, experience with Batari Basic and Atari Vox, uh, putting both in the same, there must be a game out there that has used both of those. It's got to be, but um, he read that it's difficult, at least, if not impossible, in the forums. So maybe it's challenging. Maybe somebody can make a special module for him that. And the works. new, what's the what's the the new voice? Oh yeah, there's another possibility which is software right. based. It was yeah. Sam, which was on the Commodore sixty four. Yeah. Do you remember that? Uh, I do. Yeah. yeah. 
um, somebody made it in 4K on the Atari uh -huh. 2600, which is very small yeah, yeah. for a complete, you can say anything with the 2600. Yeah. So if you can put that in um, one of the 4K banks yeah. and be able to access it and play it while the game's playing because the game makes sounds while it, and it doesn't, the demo of the Sam on 2600 doesn't blank the screen either. It's like an active mouth moving mm. on the screen. So there's a possibility that he could have that as a module for Batari Basic, right, right. which would be amazing. Yeah, that would be great. He is still working on making the sounds better. Um, so we're going to go to the demo platformer if you want to pick up the joystick. Yes. <laughs> and navigate. <laughs> ah! Oh, my God. What did you pick? Not that one. This one? Yep. Yeah. And so this is made by uh, Lilipa Ken Pound. Oh, my God. I'm really sorry. Uh, this is first posted December, September 1st. And this is oh, the same one. It's got some uh, acceleration got and some momentum. physics going on. Oh. It I don't is... even know what I'm supposed to do. But... I'll let Woo! you figure that out. Because that's the fun of discovery. No, nope, I died. Screw this game. Is that? Oh no! Ugh, Rage quit. Rage quit. Yes. It's the 32K DPC Plus. It's a other games he's made: demo platformer and no! rail. No. No, indeed. I got. I got to tell uh, you. I got to tell you. That's not good. No, don't die. Because I'm getting. Uh, getting do you ragey. know who you were talking to? <laughs> do you know who I am? <laughs> you don't know what I'm capable of. Um, uh, uh, he's made, uh, this and rail slider. So this is his uh, second thing he's posted. You can download this in the Atari age forums. <laughs> bounce, bounce. Nope. Uh, you're going to no. have to reset it. No, I'm not going to do anything. Are you going to be the resetter? Are you going to be the reader? I'll read. Because one person has to read and reset. I, or I'll reset. I'll the, reset it. Well. I don't want people to rage quit zero page homebrew watching <laughs> me try to play this game so when you have to reset that many times the physics are just un yeah it's like awesome the feel of this game is so good it's really good yeah like you it's 100 percent maneuverable like like you can do such precise movements oops and uh, not only that but check out the screen transitions I think the next thing you need to Watch do that. is to get a custom couch where the Atari just sits right here. <laughs> the problem with that is there's a lot of wires coming out of the Atari. Look, you're coming to me with problems. All I am is solutions. <laughs> I got solutions for you. I want to hear about more problems that my solutions cause you. <laughs> got, to, got to stand right next to the... I can sit by the reset, but you won't be able to see this. <laughs> All of this. <laughs> um... Not only the screen transitions, but check out that guy, that enemy at the top. There. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I saw that. It's amazing. He is going back yeah. and forth. I and saw that and I was like, well, I guess I'm not going through there. But you know what? I think you are. I think you have to go through there. No, you don't. No. It, it's too hard. Uh, you. It's hard here. What? <laughs> I guess you could. I can't get back, back up there now. But um, if you could get him on that very end, then go through and then jump over him. You yeah. could. I'm going to try that. I've never actually been able to do that. Of course, I'll have to reset a bunch. So if I follow him and then jump. Yay, I did it! First try. <laughs> 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 the screen transitions are very nice. And well, this... Thunkus, we would definitely make room for the cats. <laughs> like, On the couch? it would be a nice, you know, comfortable spot above or below. Above, probably. Oh, for here? Yeah. yeah. The screen transitions are nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're gorgeous. Look at that. The other thing is we could put a mod yes. that adds another plug into the Atari that gives you a remote reset switch over here. And you could do that, all of them. That, <laughs> is, <laughs> that was part of the RGB mod, actually. Oh. Was a reset button. <laughs> what? Why didn't you do it? Because you can't, like, it's hanging, like, it's part of a joystick. Like, you have to have it wired into the joystick because it comes through... I don't know. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Because you have to have a joystick wired up the whole time. <laughs> that broom handle would work good. <laughs> ah! Ah! Smash ah! it. Smash. <laughs> That's what would happen during a rage reset. 
uh, situation. And there you finish the level, but he's only got one level. So it turns ah. to purple level. Then it turns to blue level. Ah. And then it stays on blue level. The physics are amazing. I must say. Unbelievable. Ah. How, can you go through that one? Have you tried the bottom? Uh, let me take a look at what's on the other side. Oh, yeah, it's a long way. Yeah, I can do that. Yep. Jump over. Jump. Ah. Ah. You died. The blue thing <laughs> got you. <laughs> the Roomba got you. <laughs> so I'm back to the, back to the red level. Um, so I'm going to get the exclamation mark. So now you have to read. Where, 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 where do I start? Um, right there. At the beginning? Uh, below the, the date. Below the date. So like right at the beginning. I saw in the latest Zero Page Homebrew stream that Someone was making a multi-sprite kernel hack with scrolling. Well, I made a DPC plus hack and a while ago, a while ago that allows horizontal scrolling. I followed Spry, Sprybug's way of doing it. I would have no idea where to start without that. It's really easy to use and allows different PF resolution. Playfield. Playfield resolution. I can make a short tutorial video if anyone's interested. Thanks to Daryl Spice Jr. for always going out of his way to help. Here's a little rough demo I made to try it out. Would be nice to know if it works on real hardware. Oh my god. It you don't does. have this Metroid style scrolling if you don't want. I just wasn't happy with anything below one column per frame, so I did this. Thomas Yentz style. Ah. He responded to my comments on how much I was impressed. I don't know what direction to take it though. I I tried adding an animated human sprite with different animations for jumping and ducking and stuff, but it became way too complicated. Changing hitboxes and not getting stuck when the sprite changed size, and moving on and off the screen smoothly. So the player sprite has to be really simple. I tried making moving platforms out of the missiles, but you can't get them to move on and off the screen smoothly, unless they are only four pixels wide and move four or two pixels every time. Maybe I can try that again. And the biggest thing I wanted to do was having all the enemies' expositions in zero-page variables. And if it was in the visible window, copy. And if it was in the visible window, copy it and draw it with an unused virtual sprite. That way you could have four enemies on one screen. Five, five one the next, four, five, four, so that when you scroll between them, there's never more than nine visible but a lot more enemies than that in each oh. level. I'm sure that's possible, but something prevented me from doing it. So this game attempt was just one big fail time waste reminder that I wanted to be a lot more and had given up on trying to make it into an actual game. But if you say it's good, I'll try to make it a little better. It, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> it is like the, really the movement is amazing, the jumping and all that, yeah. The only thing is I need more lives <laughs> or a way to restart without the reset button. That's like this, that's this button, button, this button. Because not because I need it, but because this guy gets really mad about little things <laughs> like having to get Just up every time thing. I die. I die a lot. I die a lot. This is it the would only take me, thing. When I see games with really good physics like this, I know I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> because I just, I know for certain that I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to die. Awesome screen it takes, transition. It just takes practice, which I don't have. <laughs> ah! And uh, somebody posted a really nice animation uh, for the player character, um, but he was having none of that. The Bluetooth reset. You could get a. You could make a mechanical uh, rage reset uh, <laughs> uh, button on Bluetooth. It would. And then you oh wouldn't have to... <laughs> Mechanical one? Yeah, you just need a, a button that remotes. You wouldn't even need Bluetooth. You could just do, well, anything wireless. Yeah. And it just would servo it. Boink, boink. Zook, zook. Like those boxes, like the, 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 you know, the boxes where they're... Takes the they coin. They don't do anything. And you press the button and... Oh, it, it turns... You push, it the, you push it off and it opens up and it pushes it back on and... It closes the, the box itself? Yeah, the useless yeah. box or whatever yes. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or one of those coin boxes but there all it is is a connection inside it just closes a connection uh when you switch it down so mm -hmm. you just you could make a remote switch for that 
and wire it out. But it'd be hard wired. And that's but it would be cooler if it was mechanical. Oh, yeah. If it was 100%. just like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, solenoid. Chonk. Ah. That'd be awesome. Oh, yeah. I mean, you'd want to make sure that it was lined up correctly so you didn't have snapping the stick off. <laughs> so, did so you, have you gotten that thing up there? I did. I did. Is yeah. that important? Uh, it ends and you have to reset. <laughs> oh, so that's how you win the game or by going to the end. Yeah, that's that's one of the things he made as a end. Either die or you hit the thing. And if you go through that last little opening, it changes the color of the level. Um, okay, so he made a really great animate or Tix made a really great animated character for the game. And there's a link. I yes. won't read it out. No. <laughs> Don't read out the link. <laughs> We're going to take a look at it. Um, ah! We can fall through the hole. That's how you die, too. Uh, uh, would love to see when Thomas was alone. Yes, I, I had that in mind for making a game. Uh, this would be the perfect engine for that game. Of course, uh, Thomas was alone has you play two characters at the same time. So a little bit more... <laughs> A little bit. Uh, it would have to be a little bit different. Uh, <laughs> I made it. You did. But not far. Okay. So we're going to take a look at the little animation that was made. One second. And I think it's really cool if he could implement this one and put it in but he said there's some uh difficulties doing it um because of hit detection things like that uh okay so let's get that over on this screen matters much there you go uh so tix posted this uh within the confines of the character right now mm -hmm. like it's the same height and width of what he's got right now so when you move when you jump it has a little landing and a bounce the only thing i i love how it looks the only thing i don't like about it is that because it gets wider when you land it means that like suddenly you get bigger as you land <laughs> and you hit the the enemy things that is very true it's probably that's it's probably technically just that's less probably, wide than what it is now but it doesn't matter what it's that it changes to be harder when you land <laughs> yes that, i'm so not saying that's careful. worse i'm just saying it will make people mad for a little while <laughs> yeah so oh it's not the right one let's do the screen capture one so you can see the whole thing uh, he says that's really cool but it came became complicated for several reasons not just hitboxes i would need seven to or 14 variations of all those frames for going on and off the screen. So he needs to have some way to do masking. Because when it goes off the screen, you don't want to see the extra um, bits as it goes off the screen. Otherwise, you're kind of just going off the screen not the right way. Um, so he would need to be able to like turn off bits gradually on the player characters. Which doesn't seem to be... A hard thing it's not hard in assembly but it might be hard in batari basic because when you're working with higher level languages it's obscuring them some things from you that you can't normally do but i'm sure somebody will be able to help him with that uh as well and that's what the forums are for uh so we're gonna move on to the third game that one wasn't really a game it was a game it was a short game it was good enough for a game which is zombie crisis is a lot of fun and i was playing it yesterday because it was posted on the first and i was getting it ready for the show and um i couldn't help but finish the game <laughs> it's not a super long game but it's uh it was fun enough that i was like oh i'm just gonna play a little bit more a little bit more and then i'm done <laughs> so i'm gonna let you play it's very doable very very doable Ready. to uh to finish it in um if you know the right places to go you can probably finish it in under five minutes so this is version two he just posted version um, point two point two yeah far from the final version 
Uh, the extra bits to wrap around the other side, if you don't mask them, I was having issues with virtual sprite masking in Batari Basic and DCP Plus, DPC Plus. Um, yeah. So this is by Slacker. Uh, this is his first game. Go for it. Run. Go. You're that dude. Don't touch the zombies. You're too wide to fit through that. <laughs> And you have no gun right now, so you have to just avoid them. Are we still on hard difficulty? Yes, we are. I'm gonna yeah, reset. um, hard difficulty. Oh, you, you changed the thing and you removed the hardest part, which was, how did you get a, ja a James <laughs> programmed into this game to like walk in front of the screen and make it the hardest difficulty? <laughs> <laughs> that, that does make it harder. It's hard to see through me. <laughs> Uh, he said, I started learning Atari Basic in June and been playing around with it on my free time when available. Here's my first Atari 2600 work in progress. It's an action adventure game based around trying to escape a zombie outbreak. The game is thir currently 32k ROM, but at least half of it is unused as I went for a larger ROM file so I can in include more screens later. The current game only includes the first section of the game. The goal of each area is to get the gas can to the fuel car enough to keep going to the next section. Here's the very rough no! story I have for the game. So it's not a one hit death. It's kind of like an accumulation of mm -hmm. hurt. An accumulation of hurt. <laughs> an accumulation of hurt. So I don't, yeah, there is sound in it. Only when you get hurt hit. No! There you go. Bam. Now you're in yellow. Ah. Your score indicates how uh, damaged you are. Ah. The key! The key, boss! Don't the touch key. that. Oh! I know it looks like a door, but it's not a door. You get three lives, and you get to continue with the objects you've picked up, even if you lose all those lives, which is which is very forgiving. Oh, I died again. You did. Uh-oh. The uh, speed at okay, which... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, when you go to the next screen, go... To the left and down immediately. There. Just a little hint. Um, you. The story is, you finally took the long road trip up to Cranberry Lake, New York, to pay your respects to your parents who passed away years prior, prior in an accident. You haven't visited their graves in many years, and the guilt of is never that a having... door? Yes. It looks exactly oh. like that box Don't fight. zombie. Don't fight. No, no fighting. It does look exactly like the zombie. Like, li <laughs> ah, right. like literally exact. Oh, now I got a gun. No, yet you don't. Now I got a gun? <laughs> Did I shoot it just as I died? Yeah, you can't shoot that, though, anyway. Oh, and your bullet kept going. <laughs> after you died. After you restarted with your new life. Yeah, no, the bullets are not for those zombies. Oh. The bullet is for a very specific thing. It's not for that. Hi, how are you? Want to come up? Help oh. me read? Uh, is it... While walking to the graveyard, meet, you meet up with an old man who is your parents' friend and neighbor. He is happy to see uh -oh. you, let you know he's gone fishing at the lake, uh, just north of the cemetery, and you should come see him after you're done with your folks. You, that's the thing. Which, that Sorry. zombie? I'm giving you hints. Or that thing? Nope down. There you go. Oh, I got health. Yay, you're green again. That's my waters. No kittens. There you go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> hey, Flackets. Uh, zombies are the least scary monsters, besides vampires, if you go by the original text. They're slow and plodding. That's why in both zombie tales, the humans are the real monsters. Uh -huh. No! <laughs> you tell him. <coughs> ah! I'm running scared is what I'm going to do. I'm not telling nobody nothing. So you have to find your way through this repeating maze. No, I don't. <laughs> You're done? Okay. <laughs> Start from... Uh, there. From controls? Yes. Well, at the gravesite, you notice that the ground at another grave appears to break apart 
as a hand reaches through the soil. Louder. Controls. While at the grave site, <laughs> you notice that the ground at another grave appears Louder. to break no. apart. <laughs> no. As a hand reaches through the soil. <laughs> Controls. Joystick moves. Uh, button fires once you ah. find a gun. Color black and white switch pauses game. Again, we need the machine over here. Yeah. Uh, left oh, difficulty pauses. in cool. A position. Lose all items and progress on game uh, over. Uh, left difficulty in B position. Items and progress is saved on game over until a reset. Right difficulty in A position. Full speed monsters and full damage. Right difficulty in B position. Half speed monsters and half damage. That's like a quarter difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> Got the key. On title screen button starts the game. On car screen button drives off. Tips. Colored barriers require keys to unlock them. Treat the gun as a machine gun. Hold the button down when firing. Otherwise, some enemies will take forever. You can. Huh. Boss of one area. Boss of area one is vulnerable on the right side. The forest is a maze, and not all screens will make sense. Don't be surprised if you're turned around there. Yeah, it loops. <laughs> Thin ghosts are only easily hit from the left or right side. Thin ghosts? Yes. What, what thin ghosts Those are. guys there, probably. Uh, if they ever catch up, I'll shoot them. Uh, Slacker posted 21 hours ago. Oh, you ago. can shoot them. You just have to shoot them a bunch of times. <clears throat> Up updated the first post in this thread with version 0 0.2 download. This version uses this version uses the right difficulty switches to set monster difficulty. In the A position, they will be full speed and full damage. If it's in the B difficulty, they will do half damage and move half speed. Yes, I should be playing on the hard mode. <laughs> I know how to play. So the, the only one, I mean, besides general difficulty of trying to avoid and not running into them, um, is the maze, because I'm not good with mazes, but I, I memorized it before, <laughs> before today's show. Oops. You start way back at the beginning if you do lose all your lives. Health. Which is just in time. It's a house, right? A uh, garage, I think. Ah. Oh, it's boss. And shooting his bullet. Oh, it does kill him. Get the gas. Shot. Yes. And then you have to make your way back to the car press the button to, to drive off and let's appreciate this first it's very good moon pretty good moon good movement and oh sounds like a crash it's the standard race car noise for the atari i think <laughs> <laughs> end of demo one Woo! Woo! Ball, Pac Moon, <laughs> ZT a with a beach, <laughs> a beach ball. <laughs> That's it. They're all very, yeah, it's really um, good, simple RPG. I mean, this is him just um, start with the hard difficulties. So, faster and more difficult monsters. It's ET with a beach ball. Because <laughs> <laughs> ah. I think uh, version one had the hard fast monsters because i remember them playing them and they were that they were that speed mm. like this like they're all moving fast it's good to give options especially if you are um oh yeah to get the key first ah especially if you're able to finish the game on easy mode and then you want a bit more of a challenge it's good to have the option to have more difficult oh my god okay come over here over here I remember this being a lot more difficult on version one. Ah. Okay, 
you come over here. Come up here. Thank you. Ah. Ah. Didn't heed my own vice. <laughs> ah. No, 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 Shoot no. him. I don't have a gun yet. Oh. Oh, go through here. Then I've got the key. Oh, yeah, I go up here. Do I have the key? Did I get the key? What did I get? I think you got the key. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, how am I going to get by this guy? I think you have to take damage there. No. Oh, I do have the key. Those guys go through walls. Those must be ghosts. Because they're just going through walls, and the zombies do not go through the walls. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. The zombies ah. don't. Sometimes the ghosts look like people, and sometimes they look like oh yeah, because squares. Some of them are going through the walls. Those zombies that were going back and forth across the screen were just like, yeah, I'm going through walls. Those are ghosts. Ghost zombies. That's a zombie. <laughs> That's a zombie. It's a zombie. Yeah. Yeah. He gets stuck by the tree. He can't even see you. Where am I? Yeah. See. They're very. But he sad. stopped because he couldn't see you. Oh. oh. Oh, we can go through the oh, tree. Oh no. Kind of. Kind of. Weird. That's really Feels weird. like that was a bug. Uh, yeah. That's definitely a bug. Oh, you can shoot them. Oh, and they both die. They're uh, entangled. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Ah! Ah! Oh, that's not good. And I believe in this mode, you lose everything. Yep. Why did you put it in this mode? Because the easy mode's too easy. But there's two modes. One, it, well, there's two switches. One is keeps the stuff, and one is doesn't keep the stuff, and the other one is difficulty level. Uh, keeping the stuff, I'm sure I could complete this game. Because you only need to get to the next item each time. Maybe at the end, where you have to go through that huge maze, and you start here each time you die, that might be difficult. Um, but completing it... On ease, like slow zombies, when you do lose your stuff, I think that's harder. But anyway, done this. Done it. <gasps> yeah, you're done. Look, you turned blood <laughs> red. And mush. I turned to mush <laughs> on the ground. 1650 on hard. Yeah, not good. You 40. can shoot ghosts. He shot, he totally shot ghosts. Yep. I think those were ghosts. They might have been zombies, but I think they were ghosts. If they're going through walls, you have like a proton pack on your back then maybe it's like that i mean it's a dual dual purpose gun and proton pack mm, do we did you get points for shooting i couldn't tell oh yeah 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 you do yeah at least on the boss you yeah did. there is a lot of variety yeah there's lots yeah yeah like each le like it's not the same thing each time you go into a different level like there's a lot of oh. different varieties of monsters even though i'm sure they're all the same on the inside <laughs> on the outside, they look different, and that's cool. Ah, uh, they're stuck on the tree. Yeah, every screen is a little different. Like this one. Yeah, oh my god. There's just one guy who's big. Um, it's different trees, there's water. Um, yeah. Different patterns, the way they move. Oh my god, still on hard level. And um, like this. It's like it's got a... Oh, I do die when I run into that. Who's the mush? Am I the mush? Did he, did he turn small? <laughs> um, you explode. Your legs fly off, and your body goes off on the side. I noticed that that happens. But when I you killed die. him at the same time by running into him. I can oh. do that again. See, he's big. I'm small. I'm running into him. I don't think you killed him. I think he just disappeared. <laughs> he's like, my job is done. I'm going home. I'm going. I'm going home. <laughs> Take my ball. I'm going home. Okay. Next game. Power went out. Okay, Ready. we're going to go on to Head Kicker, and I'm not including this game because it's uh, anything magical or special or anything. It's a very, very simple game. Don't pick that. Why? What happens? It's trying to load it as a game. And, it's and what game. happens? It just says bad. Yeah, but it told me it's bad. I don't need you to pile <laughs> on. <laughs> Need a four-player Quadtari zombie game. That would be awesome. <gasps> That's awesome. That would be cool. Yeah. That's really, really cool. And, and sorry, did you say when, when players die, they become zombies too? Yeah, I like that. That's good. So there's a bunch of zombies. 
and four players, and then you die, you become one of their the zombies, mm-hmm. and you become slow or whatever. Yeah. And it's the last person to survive. That's a really good idea. So, um, you can probably figure out what's going on here. Oh, how many... Uh, how many head kicks nine. getting in there? So, you have a timer. It's counting down. You got 70 head kicks in. That's more than I would probably do <laughs> in, in real life. life yeah. yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, that would hurt. Is this, uh, do I reset this? I think it's up or down. Yeah, there you go. One for Jenny and the wimp. Oh, don't. No, 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 no. It's not a nice brother thing to do. Oh, you're surpassing your fast score. No. Not a nice thing to do. Don't fight the other cat. Don't fight Atari. Oh, what did you get that time? 108. Boot to the head. <laughs> Somebody knows that uh, obscure uh, comedy uh, troupe. 120 this time. Oh, can I beat it? We'll see. 120. I don't know if this is the best method. Because it has to go all the way up again to. Uh... Oh, I don't think it's going to happen. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh! Nobody likes you. You cheated with two hands. <laughs> Fire buttons cheat. are not two handed items, they're one handed items. They are two handed when it's only one button you have to use. <laughs> I was doing this with one hand. Can you use two fingers, though? That's what I was doing. Stop fighting. Yeah, fight back. Fight back. There you go. Defend yourself. Oh, no. Yeah, there's something going on. There's something mechanical going on, because sometimes you go twice and it doesn't do it. And sometimes you... Because the button has to go all the way to the top again, I think. Ah. So it has to... Because it's on or off. And if it's mm-hmm. still on, that means it doesn't register another one. Okay. Cat cam. Yes, the fighting going on. I don't know if you guys can hear that or see it. Yeah, it was in uh, it was in shot. Okay, here we go. No, my best one was one. Oh, you wrote that down too. Thanks, Arena Foot. It's <laughs> 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 ah, not enough. There you go. I think I can do better. 140 of that one. No, this is not working as fast. Come on. Ah. Need a track and field controller. You need a long sleeve shirt. Well. <laughs> I might just have one of those, <laughs> along with several other controllers we're going to try and see which one's the best. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's see which one is the best head kicker controller around. Goodbye, custom DIY. Hello, track and field. Now this is meant for pressing buttons fast. That's its whole purpose. Oh, buddy. oh, the problem is this only has left and right. You can't reset. And as soon as you reset, the counter starts. Damn it. And you can't press the reset button. No, you can't. This is the one time where I want the reset button. Oh. Boo his boo. I don't know. I don't know if it would be faster. It's pretty good. It's got a spring on it. Really good spring. You can hear it. Um, okay. I, does it start when you press down or does it start on the first button press? Because if it starts on the bu- button press, then we might still be in luck. We'll see. We'll see. Nope. nope. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not going to work.
because we're definitely not going to get a good score. But we can see if it's fast. Let's try that again. Give you a bit more time. Pretty good. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's yeah, definitely that better. That was a good one. That was a good run. Yeah, it's definitely better. Do you want to give it a try? To flip these back and forth. So I'll press down and I'll say go. Ready? Yeah. Go. Yeah, I think I, think I could do out. it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> We're going to try uh, ones with down buttons now, <laughs> with down controllers. Next one up is the Genesis controller. If you want to be the unplugger. So, next one, Genesis controller. It's got a low, a very shallow movement so uh -huh. it might be faster oh i'm getting tired this is the fastest one it's definitely the fastest one see yep definitely the fastest and, one so far and you said you were it's tired very shallow yeah you, said you were tired. tired and <laughs> yeah Got a pencil? Yeah, a pencil might work on that. It's a, a trick to track and field is to Let's try that. This may not work on this one. I mean, that's going super fast. You can keep it on target. You got yeah. I mean, you had te technical difficulties, but yeah, it was, it was obviously that was working. A, that's a very fast method. Oh, that's so tiring. Ah. Oh my goodness, that's so tiring. Okay, <laughs> sweating now. Okay, next up is the Atari 7800 oh. controller. These have side buttons, which may or may not be good. That one's totally not connecting very well. It's very bad. Uh... I need to dig in the canyons of mine for the pencil trick. Uh, the two-player version would slightly be more interesting. Oh, it would be. You could have two players head-to-head -head kicking. You could be both kicking the same head, actually. <laughs> one could kick the head, one could kick the feet. Oh. This one's quite stiff. Yeah, but it's going fast. But it's got a very short travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's not again. bad, but it's very stiff. Oh, my arm. <laughs> oh, my arm. That one's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, I think the Genesis so far is the best because it's really short travel and very springy. Head kicker, if this is head kicker two, what was version one like? I don't know, I've never played version one. <laughs> 119. Pretty good. 
Next up <laughs> is, we'll leave that one till last. Um, uh, the Gemini Coleco controller. Oh. This was um, for a ripoff Atari system that, G that Coleco made. I believe it was Coleco. What, it's a ripoff Atari system? It sounds like it. it's uh, fast. Yeah, yeah. This is nice. Very springy. Not as short a travel as the as the Genesis, but it's a very, very springy button. Oh, lol. Wow. <laughs> See if you can get five kicks on the 5200. Now I'm tired. <laughs> the 5200 controller does not go into the 2600. I bet, I bet it does in some weird way. There's a whole channel dedicated to controllers on, on YouTube. And his thing is hooking up some controllers to other controllers, other systems. Uh, my hand cramps up just imagining this with a CX-52 controller. What about the Point Master Rapid Fire Attachment? I don't have that. Okay, next up is a joystick from uh, when I had the Commodore, Commodore 64. Commodore 64, yeah, I recognize it. Yep. <laughs> it's a little yellowed. It's got four fire buttons, all exactly the same. Uh, it's got a trigger, it's got a top button, and it's got two at the bottom. So I have the opportunity to do two at once here. Four at once, actually. If they don't all conflict, because if it might... Suction cup it to your desk, dude. Yep. I think that's what we're going to do. You guys can't see it, but you'll see the results of it. Let's see. No. No. Yeah, there it, that, was, that works. The two bottom ones. That's the ones I thought you were going to go with. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to reset. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because that was like... <laughs> you almost got there, even with like a rough start. Uh, tired. I could do better, but I'm not going to. You can do it. Attach it there. It won't suck you that. Oh. Give it a try. No. Nope. <laughs> porous. Too porous. Uh, I don't have anything that's non-porous. Uh, try that. Try the back of that. Well, the front of it. Yeah, uh, that's a touch screen. No, it's suction cups. It's not like oh, nails. Yeah. You're not going to be pushing too hard on it. <laughs> As you can see, not very good. Oh, uh, 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 not bad. No, it's no, really good. Kick an ass. It's going to be the best score yet. Woo! Best score yet! <laughs> this two buttons definitely is winning. Okay, next up. I don't think this is going to do well, but it may surprise me. Is the um, Epics. Epics 500XJ. Which has a clicky, 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 clicky button. But it might work. If you've never, if you've never used a 50 under 200 control, the buttons are mushy and they get non-responsive quickly. I haven't because they're all broken. All my 5200 controllers. Okay. It's not slow. Yeah, but I wouldn't say it's super fast. Uh, I think the real problem. No, it was. Me. It was as good as yeah. I think you're just tiring out. That yeah. was really good, actually. That was yeah. Yeah. Because you were at 131, and you clearly like had a few <laughs> fatigue moments. You I know? did. Like, yeah, I yeah, slowed yeah. down. Yep. Love the Epic's control. The controller's really good. No. Um. If you're doing a lot of firing, the position of the button is very, very tiresome because you have to wrap your hand around it. 
but the actual <laughs> controls i'm gonna try that one again yeah um but the actual controls are so good oops Ugh. accidentally reset click 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 5200 is all my, my all-time favorite i'm a madman why'd you break your f i didn't break them they came broken <laughs> all of them every single one of them they're notoriously bad like out of the box they're broken um and eventually they all break oh is it done yeah okay maybe that's what the retron uh, was after they were trying to replicate the uh <laughs> that's right 5200 yeah about as bad as last time good as last time okay and for the very last one the og joystick atari 2600 original cx 40 i believe the model number cx 10 is the really really original ones unless i'm mixing it up because it does not print it on here okay cx 40 yay i got it right I pick a broken one. I do have another one. I don't use those because they're I hate them so much. <laughs> they're so spongy and terrible. Hatred. I, only, I think I only have two of these because I never liked them, so I never collected them. I'll have to open that one up. Oh, there's so many joysticks on the floor. There you go. 500 is too clicky. Yeah, it's not good for the stream. It What's is funny really is these bad. aren't even all the things you could try. Oh, I have more. <laughs> I definitely have more. I just don't. Uh, I don't want to make it too long. Oh, there we go. It's not bad. Oh, it's inconsistent. Inconsistent. Ah. Uh, tired. <laughs> That's a problem too. Hi, Pixel. <laughs> See, it's not. It's not accurate. It's not hitting all the time. Um, it's not bad. It's got short travel. Um, so you can get... It's pretty good, but it's very tiring, I found. Or maybe I'm tired. Yeah. Um, two buttons. Obviously the king. We're, on it. We're out of controllers. Two buttons. Obviously better than one. You can get a lot in. Um, the Epic's joystick. Uh, pretty good. I like that one for the button presses. If it's a one-button game. But wrapping your hand around... And pressing it is so tiring. It involves so much movement. Uh, Genesis controller is really good. Really good. So I can see why people um, like this uh, for a controller. Um, but uh, for a normal controller, I might give it to Genesis, actually. That's that's pretty good. Although the the this one was the fastest. It was, because yeah. of two buttons. Yeah. Hi, because you're able to kind of hit Cheat. hit one and then hit the other one. So yeah, cheaty, yeah. cheaty, cheaties. This is one of the silliest things I've seen on Zero Page Homebrew so far. Yes. <laughs> oh, we strive to be the best, even if it's the best of silly. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun though. I had to do something about this game because it's it, you're kicking ahead. <laughs> what can what more can you do? That's the game. Yeah, that is one good. action. <laughs> <laughs> okay now we're going to go on to our activision patch challenge which is hero looking forward to this got the cartridge right here it's all blurry because there's no autofocus here i can put in the cat cam which does have autofocus there we go which is about the same size so let's try it with the actual cartridge see if it works sometimes they get dirty and dusty. Atari Fox Plus. Ready. No. Attention. 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 
attention to me. That's our evil. Tries and then we're gonna do emulation. Atari Fox but does emulation count? Uh, well, it's not emulation. It's on a real system with the real ROM. It's just not the real cartridge. It does count. Atari Fox Plus. Ready. Well, for me it counts. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah never mind. I was confused. I thought you meant using. Oh. Ready. Yeah, yeah. The emulator. No, just using a ROM. Did I say emulator? Okay. You said emulation. Yeah, no, not emulation. Atari Fox. Uh, we're gonna use the ROM. Because Ready. some people one like people could say, oh, that ROM was hacked and the timing's off, or you're getting extra points, or you know, who knows, right? So but if it's on the actual cartridge, that's a bit more. Wait, legitimate. do I wrap this one up? Um Genesis? No, that one stays out. Actually, I'm more inclined to do wrapping in circles now. Okay, well, you can do that next time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's Hero. <laughs> Darcy's going to play it first, because I'm just going to read out a tiny little bit. Hey. 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 What? I'm doing a it. circle. Okay. Um, so, I have played this before. Uh, I last played it on August 9th, 2019, so just over a year ago. I love the trackball centipede on the... F oh, we could have used a trackball um, a fire button as well. Oh, my God. What? What you did just, I do? You just... Get a, get those off if, the laptop. What? Get them off. You hit reload or something. How can I press... Re this hit <laughs> the, either the P or I, the square bracket. Are I, those re are those reboot buttons? Uh, I think you hit the trackpad somehow with one of the other joysticks by rearranging, and that reloaded. Even though the mouse is nowhere yeah, near there. It's oh, right on there. That okay. Is, that is what happened. There we go. Okay. It it Subscribes again. to the eight-bit wrapping scheme. Yes. Yeah, is, but it's not on there anymore. Eight-bit guy. Is that what he uses? I've never seen him wrap a thing. It's better because it doesn't kink. Like. If you do it in a circle, it doesn't kink the control the uh, cabling because after a while I think it's really bad for it. <clears throat> and also you can hang them up too if you need to do that. So it does you take just up start. a bit more room. You just but. start. I'll read. Okay. Um. No, you play. <laughs> All right. I'm definitely not completing this game. Oh, completing it? <laughs> Nobody's completing it. I thought you were. Because, no, I'm going to get the patch in it. Oh, what does that require? Uh, 75,000 points. Oh, a little bit closer. There you go. Oh, I, I, mostly I just have forgotten what you do in this game. Yeah, this is one of the greatest uh, Activision games. Incredible platformer. So this is uh, put out in 1984. It's made by what, John what Van happened? Ryzen. Oh, I rescued the guy? Yeah, you're rescuing miners. They're trapped in the mine. So you have to... And they're usually at the bottom. And then, or bottom and over. Oh, wrong way. Back up you go. How? Up. I press up, but nothing happens. It takes a bit. Just to um, spin up fast enough to get you off the ground. Uh, Hero, standing for Helicopter Emergency Rescue Operation, is a video game by uh, John Van Ryzen. Published for Activision, blah, blah, blah. March 1984. The player uses a helicopter backpack and other tools to rescue victims trapped deep in a mine. The mine is made up of multiple screens using a flip screen style. Oh, I died. Yep. Because you first hit the light. And then you ran into a uh, creepy crawly. Uh, the player uses a ba helicopter backpack and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mine is made up of multiple screens. Yeah, I read that. So this was put out for the 2600, uh, which was the original, an Apple II, 5200, Atari 8-bit, ColecoVision, Commodore 64, MSX, SG-1000, and the ZX Spectrum. Yep. 
Yay! Um, so to get the patch, uh, you have to get 75,000 points. Um, I got 50,000 and 55 points last time. Um, and so I've been... Oh, we need that door open! <laughs> Pixel just closed the door. Pixel was having it's none of it. It's gonna get hot in here. None of it. None of it. None of it. There we go. Left the door. Sorry. Um, and I counted up how many patches I've earned. I have earned 19 out of 47 patches possible to get it at this point. And that includes uh, homebrew patches as well. Hi. Lovey dovey cat. Now Twitch isn't back there. I have to read it off. This one uh, is a good one for the Competition Pro. Uh, Nathan Strum said, no, don't go up there. Says, stopping by during oh, lunch. What's the I word died. on the patch challenge? Has James been defeated by his own impatience? <laughs> not yet. What happened? I've not been defeated by, by my own impatience. Nathan Strum just jumped into it. Hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. The walls are lava. I made it to level five. Pretty good. Everybody be amazed. Pretty good. 15,480 on your way to 75,000. That's not bad for your for first game. Um, so to get to 75,000, I watched a couple of runs online. And two YouTubers or YouTube videos got to 75,000 at the end of level 12, around level 12 or 13. Um, then I watched a uh, tool-assisted speed run, and he got it at the end of level 10. That means, like, a perfect run. They shoot everything perfect. They do everything just at the fastest they can. Yeah. And you see you have a power level there. Um, the more shooting you use, ah. the more power it uses up. And also the helicoptering uses up more power. Ah. And you get... That's where you get the points, is the bonus is how much power you have left. Um, so the trick is to fly and shoot as little as possible uh, to get as much bonus. Yeah, it's time for Rage Reset. But it's not a s short game, so... Cat. Hi. I'm, I'm learning how to play piano. It's my COVID-19 thing, and I do a lot of rage resetting. Cause I, have this, <laughs> <laughs> I, I use this program, and it so has the stuff comes out. Right? It gamifies some of the, the learning, which is pretty great. And I'll be like, do, 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 and I'll, like, I'll hit wrong note. Or I won't hit a long, wrong note, but my crappy keyboard will record <laughs> me having done so. And I'll be like, ah, ah. You're like, lies. Boop, boop, boop. Like that. I think of James. And you guys. Oh, uh, rage reset. No. I'm just going to do practice first. So much, rage so much activity. My... Pixel! Psst, psst, psst. Nothing important. Sometimes your uh, phone... Um... Gold and Rocket League. I've never played Rocket League. Neither have I. I've seen it a lot. Looks like a bit of fun. <laughs> Is it like the real Rocket League? Do you remember that? Like they were trying to start off rocket racing? Rocket racing? Yes. What and is that? so it was like airplanes, but they were rocket powered, I think. And they were racing around a, like okay. an air, aerial track. And they were trying to get it to be a thing. Ah, uh, was it a thing? I don't think so, because I haven't heard of it. Yeah. Yeah, it became a thing? Well, not a big thing. <laughs> Otherwise, it would still thing. be going. True. Oh my god. The, that kill you too? The walls are lava. No, the uh, lava that killed me was a wall that Tar I walked into. Psst, psst, pixel! Psst, psst. Oh, you're. Buddy, I know it feels as though psst. what you're doing should be helpful. It is. Keep doing it. You're not in the way. He's just being him. Ah! What? I didn't. Oh, I didn't touch the guy in time. What does it say? Nathan Strum says the power meter is just a time. Flying and shooting have no effect. It just goes faster as levels increase. Really? Oh. Stand still and shoot it. I think I'm going the wrong way. I swear it goes down. 
but well it's it's one of those things that would be so easy to test <laughs> uh yeah but not right now when i when i next game pixel he has to be kicked out soon he's being a bad cat oh my god okay now we're gonna test it Okay, let's see what it, how slowly it goes down normally. Uh, he does this because he knows it gets attention. You're going to make us sit in a hot room now. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Poor us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oops. Okay. So, it's going down. Going down. Oh, no. No, it's the same. Okay, never mind. Why is it so glitchy? Why is the screen so terribly glitchy? What are people saying? Nathan is assuring you that it is just a timer. <laughs> that means I can shoot all day, all night. And not worry about it then. That's good. You're ready for incessant meows. We shall see. No, Usually there's just that. like paws under the door. Yeah. Hi. So you just have to be fast. That's it then. And you get a little bit of bonus for less um, using, uh, not using his, I don't think I can go down there. I don't think you can either. Now I can. I believe it's always left. As much as you can. It's like a good rule of thumb. Oh my god. Uh, it says it's just you against the clock, so you don't need to rush until higher levels. You do need to rush. That's where you get the points. I, I find the heart that means the higher levels take so much longer to do. You get zero yeah. bonus. This is where you get the big bonuses on the early levels. This last time I played it. It was so hard to get anything at the upper levels. No. Uh, Why you do this? Why you do this? <laughs> ah, lava! Isn't that the burns. right way to go? No, it isn't. The left, and then you break through. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible run. Do you get bomb bonuses? Yes, a little bit. Like 150 or 75? Maybe it goes up as you go up the levels. Oh my god! Can you reset? Please. Unacceptable. Can you reset? Yes. Alright. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, like, they're, it's still not. That's disconnected again. A laptop. People are saying things and I can't read them. Or you can't read them. No, nobody can read them in this room. Always exit a screen, assuming the next screen is going to kill you as soon as you enter it. That is a uh, very good... It's true. Until you have memorized everything? Yeah. You memorize everything, which that's my uh, weak point. <laughs> is remembering mazes. And remembering which way things are. I think you're pretty good at it. Oh, this is the wrong way, isn't it? It is. Everything's in the dark. What I was going to resort to is getting you to do a map of left, right, left, right. Would that be too much? 
No room for that. So I don't have to go, oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Also, a choice between killing a bug and going a different direction without the bug is the correct way. So, I knew it. it was too close. Sorry, the choice between what? Like, if there's a bug to kill yeah. on a level, do that. Or I find if there's a wall to blow up, that's the right way. See yeah, that? yeah, definitely, it's always the wall. just gets longer and longer but you have the same exact amount of time that's the problem I remember that one from your run no from when we were playing it before. oh really <laughs> ah must have went the right way I guess time you've gone over I think it is there's a lot of overs um, soon <laughs> what that noise? clang from my computer like like when things heat up <laughs> this is the wrong way oh no, oh my god maybe it was well we'll see Much. Mm, no, I played it earlier yesterday, and that is not a path. It looks like a path that you can bomb, but it's... No, no, you, I thought... The direction you went is the direction I thought you should go. Uh, there's some very evil platforms soon. That's not quite evil enough. They get, it gets really evil. See, there's hardly any points. Hardly any points! Oh my god. The lava burns. Burns badly. It's a good tip from Nathan. It is like, assume you're gonna die going into the screen. And that is definitely the truth on this level. Yep. Oh, sorry. Who am I apologizing to? I don't know. I was like, Myself. well, I forgive you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> For now. Come on, go down. Oh my god, no! I almost died. And then you did die. Level 9. Level 9, 48,320. Uh, are we connected again? We are. You can use all your dynamite, then you have to laser through if you have time. Yes, that's right. It's very slow though. 48, 320. Not bad for the second, even. Second or third. Um, one thing I learned is if you stay on the left side, the lanterns are always on the right. The lights. So always hug the left side of the wall. Okay, tell me when. What level that it gets hard? When you need me to start tracking. Okay. That was pretty good so far. I don't want to catch hack. And I'll catch hack if <laughs> if I was supposed to be tracking what was. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> 
I'll give you the heck. <laughs> I'll give you some heck. Is this the right way? Well, all the bugs say yes. Yep. Nice. Double kill. There's a wall. Take it. Yeah, that's definitely the right way. Ah, always go down that side. Those opening closing walls are maddening. Ooh, yeah, there's some on the higher levels where... Oh, my God! Something on that level was trying to kill you. But you forgot. Yes. Because I was being clever and going down the middle, but there was a bad guy in the middle. Um, there's lava walls that open and close on higher levels. They are atrocious. It wouldn't be so bad if your helicopter was instant. But it's good. It's not instant. It's this way. No, oh, lava! <laughs> I remembered that one. Left. Uh, go down. So slow. Lies! I have to go up. Oh, what? I have to go back up. Oh, go up okay. When you can, oh, you must blow up the building. Oh, uh -oh. what the hell happened there? Uh-oh, you did it. Not gonna get that bonus. Maybe I need all of them. You might have to taser your way through. <laughs> yep, tasering. Or... <clears throat> yeah, I can't remember if you... Oh, oh my, my god! <laughs> <laughs> Definitely never done this before. At it? least you can get through it. Yeah, you're not stuck. You chose poorly. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Very poorly that time. Yeah, this might be where... Well, some of them lead to the same things. <laughs> Lava. Lava burns. Oh, that's where I died twice last time, too. Nobody likes it when you do that? Nope. Everybody dislikes that. <laughs> oh, it was too far away. Reset. Just lost 150 points there. <laughs> right away. Or whatever it is. Are you, uh, as you drop from screen to screen, always keep firing. Oh, yeah, I will. Maybe I should just always keep firing. But what if there's a, a light? No, that's a bad advice. Sometimes there's lights as you go down. Yeah, but aren't the lights always in a spot where you're going to hit them with your body? Nope. Uh, a lot of time they, they set them up, but on the earlier levels, not as much. But in the later, later levels, they give you narrow passageways where you just, you hit the light. Just left. Nope. It is right. Go for the bug, right? Go for the bug. Oh, there's a wall. Bug or wall? When there's the a wall. Best one. When there's a wall, go for the wall. Want something to explode. Explode it. Huh? Wasting lives. You chose the no bug. <laughs> Wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> where you drop, but not totally in the center. That's the thing. Bug and wall? Definitely go that way. Uh, don't go down the narrow passageways with lights. Well, how do you know there is one? <laughs> is the left and then you switch over God to it. lava is hot ah. okay. terrible mistakes I have to make it to level 12 or 13. Well, you, can, you made it to level 9. Oops. Wasting. Uh, 
Not snake, this time. Snake. <laughs> Forget it. Not making it anywhere with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> It's like being in a movie theater and yelling at the screen. Don't do it, girl! Don't go in there! <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely correct. I shouldn't have not have gone in there. You shouldn't have not gone in there. <laughs> Drop it! Get! Left? Bug! To the bug? To the bug. See? Yes. You would have been so mad. I would have. That's true. You would have made it, but you would have been in the dark. Wall or bug? Can't remember. Always to the wall. Always to the wall? Good one. Doesn't anybody hate when other people can't shut up in the theater? Well, yes. A lot. You're there to watch a movie. If you want to be yelly yelly, be it at home. Bug. I definitely would say that that doesn't happen. <laughs> it would annoy me. But doesn't I happen can't often. Say, that's not a thing that happens very... Probably I'm the loud person in the theater. <laughs> like, I'm not talking, but I la when I think something's funny, I laugh. I do not, I'm not shy about laughing. Laughing, funny in the you theater. know, that's fine. I think, know. I think, I think it's good when other people laugh, because then you know what was funny. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> when to laugh? Okay, careful. Careful where? Everywhere? There. No, this isn't the one. This is the one I got scared last time, too. Ooh, I shot him! I thought you shot him, too. I shot that guy. I need an instant replay on that. Ugh. Laughing is fine, yeah. You must show no emotion when watching a film. No laughing, no gasping. In the gasping. place where you died with the blue wall, the blue wall that sticks out can be used as a guide to avoid the lava below. So... Oh my god. I went the right way and... Oh, I thought I got rid of him. Care okay. Here is the place I think you need to be careful, but I'm not sure. You, Because you jump down past this guy and then you die! Go up! Yeah, see, this is the spot you die. <laughs> I thought I was going to die there for sure. Yeah. It's so tight. I'm not good with that. Um, which way? The butt! Well, this one works fine. It, it, it turns out in this case it doesn't matter. No bombs, but I made it. Level eight. Ah, I pressed up, but it's the slow reaction of the stupid thing. Always wall? Wall, if no wall, then monster. Uh, ah! It's like a lag time, it's so hard. These are the levels where I start losing precious time. Oh, I still got a little bit of time. I have to say, I don't, I don't like it when. Uh, 
get fewer points in later levels. It's I unnatural. Know. It's unnatural. It is. There's nothing. There's nothing objectively wrong with it. <laughs> but I don't like, like it. It's unnatural. It's like your later you're levels you should be getting points that make the earlier levels uh, yeah. seem silly and, and pointless. If if there's a difference. If it's not, you know, consistent, then it should be that later levels get you more. That's my Because they're harder. Right? And just because it's just natural, yeah, yeah. You're trying harder, you're working harder. Oh my it's, god. Yeah, it's normal to get more points, not less. Where's the guy? Oh, <clears throat> no, fine. Beat my old score. Now it's time for the pain. I don't think I've made it this far before. Just stick with the rules. Slowly approach. And there's no passageway there. There's one here. That's probably the way I have to go. Yep. Fast! At least I've chose the right direction. It's my last life. Oh, those fast guys. And I couldn't shoot that that last guy. Yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to do there. Oh, that's lava! It burns! Oh, <laughs> 53, 925... Oh no, Yorkie's in. I mean, who's buying? Yeah, I know. You have to re read back, read back to the first buy. <laughs> oh, it's Cafe Mantuti. Yeah. I'll check the YouTube version to see the end. Well, it might disappoint you. Fifty-three-nine-twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to get? Seventy-five. It's far from that. <laughs> I'm not trying to be discouraging. I'm just saying you're far from that. Like I you know, are. I know. I know. You are at least, unless you start no, getting 12, more points. Level Twelve and thirteen. I'm just, unless you start getting more points, you're yeah. at least four levels away. What? Because that's because you didn't. I don't think. Behave? I don't think you got five thousand points in the last level. That's that's the problem. Or if you did, if you did, stop being bad. The, presumably, you get less points as you go. So, yes. So you're not if you're not going to get at least five thousand points per level. It will four <laughs> four true. levels. If you get five thousand points per level, it'll be five levels because you need uh, yeah. twenty one thousand, not twenty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Buddy. It's not a good prospect. Tech abuse. Mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean I it's, think you uh, all, can't do it. I just mean you're far from it. That's all. Like it's, it's all glitchy and making me very mad. Why is it all glitchy? Always and... shoot for the snakes as you fall at full speed shooting left. You will kill the snake. On that snake? Yeah, oh, because yeah, so. you might kill it as it's coming out, and you kill it before it hits your face. Ah. And so instead of it biting your jugular, you shoot it in its snake face, and then uh, that's all it has. It just has a snake face. <laughs> it hardly true. even has a body or tail. That's very true. Yes, on that level. Skynet's coming for you. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, destroying the robots, making them upset. I slammed down my 2600. But it didn't help, because I didn't. See the glitches? See the little garbage lines coming up on the screen? Nope. Where? Not yet. It goes bleh every once in a while. There. Oh yeah, I did see that. And that's your, uh, you gotta jiggle the cable more? Uh, it's yeah. probably a cable thing. Hi, oh, buddy. What are you doing, mister? Because it's, it's an analog um, issue, so it's before the digitizing. Oh, yeah, we've got a chin rub form. Yeah, that's right. That's good stuff. Get those chins rubbed. I'm only That's seven years older than the 2600. Uh, I'm only four years older than the 2600. When was the 2600? 77. Ooh, I am five years older. Oh, 
die every day, every time. Hi. Hi. I'm using the cat voice. Hi. Hi, kitties. <laughs> every damn time. Snorf. 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 Ah, oh, I shot him. I had my lasers on the whole time. No, 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 no. So you need to, you need to re, um, reassert nope. over yourself the rule that uh, one must always assume one is about to die. Yes, one goes I do. On to a new level. That is the rule I definitely need to reassert, especially in the higher levels. No, that snake had it come in. But he didn't get it. <laughs> he disappeared. They all seem satisfied and they run away after they kill you. It's like, yeah. It is slightly better that you murder over. them. You take each other out. <laughs> Makes sense with spiders. They I mean, oh yeah, they're tiny little sensitive, crushy creatures. Yes, they're very sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> they wear their bones on their outside. It's a difficult life. Oh, thank you to say that. Can you read that? Lloyd, something's following. Lofter Sid. Lofter Sid? Oh my god. Uh... Oh, that's not where you touch lava. Where no. you touch lava is nowhere. There? No. Nope. Bottom of your feet is no good either. This game is so hard to get the patch. I'm going to play it one more time. Think that'll do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like nowhere near it. That's the problem. The blue bump wall that sticks out there and you won't die below. Bump the blue wall? What? Like smush against the blue wall as you go down. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have to try and remember that. You're not going to. <laughs> no, because it's like on level <laughs> six or something. What you need is maybe, you know what you should do is record these game sessions and then you could go back. That's the pro I can't memorize them. That's the problem. I'm what? getting better. Is this the blue level? No. Swear it was the place you, it was one of the places you died recently. And you're nowhere near that yet. You're still in easy mode. Yeah. And you say you, you're you not good at memorizing them, but you've memorized all these early levels that you've done. Uh, it's just you just have to of. put the time in, and you haven't put the time into those late levels because it takes longer to get to them. Nathan thinks you have to play slower, not faster. No, I need the points. I need the points. He needs to play fast and not screw up. He needs to do both yes. those things. <laughs> That's that's the magic combination. Not die and play fast. <laughs> I mean, yes, playing slow to get better at the levels. Yes. I mean, I'm getting better at the early levels. Love that game? This game? Or that game? This game is awesome. Survival is more important than speed in order to get the patch. Ah. Um, Isn't there a correct. game variation that lets you practice practice whichever level you want? Uh, you can jump ahead. Um, that is true. Um, by picking um, game variation, like two is you jump to level five. And then three, you jump to level 10 or something like that. So, technically. One thing you, and again, here's the thing. I was joking about how if you recorded the thing, you could go back and, and watch it. And then you said that you can't remember stuff. Yes. <laughs> but it is being recorded. So hug this blue wall. Uh, this is, ah. Uh, oh, so, oh, come, come, no, no, no! That blue wall? 
No, this is can't hug this is the wall. This is oh this God. is not the level he's talking about. Okay. That's why this is the one when you see that butterfly and you have to jump down and drop below it. That's the one you have to watch out for. Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, I do. I don't know which that's one. That's the one I warned you about last time, and then you didn't <laughs> die. Oh, okay. So what level are we on now? Uh, it's It'll going say. to six? Eight. Eight. Okay. Well, this is definitely not the blue level. It must be a very high blue level. It might be level nine. Ah, it's too far. I'm going to run out. No! Get under there. I think you had to go back up on the ledge. <clears throat> Probably. And I have to laser through this stupid wall. I think. Yeah, you can laser through these two. Oh, we can get that spider. Just going to the left. Uh, if you miss it. Go back on the ledge, as Darcy says. Darcy knows. <laughs> Careful! I know, it's very helpful when people yell careful at you. Watch out! <laughs> the, that's the thing, when we're walking through the woods, somebody will stumble and the joke is you say careful. <laughs> After you stumble? <laughs> They've stumbled, it's too late, but you say, ah! What? There was a place to blow up. You must have did something wrong. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't blow it up? I took the... You didn't have to, yeah. Ah, uh, go up. Oh, I hate the lag time. You have to press up before you even want to go up. Which is... tedious. It's tedious. Uh, this is where I perish. Well, it is new. <laughs> okay, so shoot as I go. Yay! Yep. There you go. That one is not as bad because there's a little bit of room. Yay! Be cautious. Yay! Boo! Ah, too much! Boo! No, boo! That's scary. Yeah, that's not, right. that. <laughs> that's not right. Torture now. Uh, don't like it. Oh, you can shoot it. Didn't think it was going up that high. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Oh, what? Yeah, that's a new mechanic. I've seen it, so I know what to do with it, luckily. Uh, see, there's no bonus left. This is where. You get two points yeah. at the end of every level. I, I, I remember being up this high. Maybe not, because I only got 50,000 last time. Oh my god. Oh. Die, die, die. Uh, I guess I'm going down here. Oh, it's a maze. F you. Well, I know I have to go to the right, because I can't go down that. Hate, hate mazes, and I hate mazes in the dark. That's it. <laughs> 57. You're doing awesome. I'm doing better. <laughs> yeah, no, doing I did well. pretty you're good. Doing well. um, but uh, that's it for now, I think, because 
Yeah, we played long enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. I'm getting better, but not getting to the 75. Like, you have to do it fast. Otherwise, in these top levels, you have, they're so much longer. You get the exact same amount of time as you do on the earlier levels. Um, I think I'm going to have to watch more YouTube videos of their tactics. I think it's just memorization. Like, go through here, so go here, go here, go here. So this an original Activision game then? Yeah, 84. So, okay. so the... nobody redid this one? No. Okay. No, no, no. no. This is the original stuff. Oh, I did better. And as long as I'm doing better, that's good. So let's see what people voted on. Now that the cats are gone, we don't have to have the cat cam. Don't worry, they're not permanently gone. They're just not here right now. Astronomer. Oh, so they want me to do the homebrew. But not by a blowout margin. No. That was I was gonna note that earlier that like a lot of this is the first survey I've seen where there no. I mean there might have been others, but mostly there's you know like a a big a true margin leader. difference. Yeah. yeah, last time for hero it was just everybody wanted me to play hero pretty much. It was quite a bit more. Um but this time it is astronomer. That is it's a hard game. Um, I think you're right. You need to get confident when, where to go on the levels. Uh, completing it fast will get you quite a few extra bonus points. And I mean, you saw what I got in that last bonus round. It was like, blip. It's like, oh, thanks. 2000 points. I only need 10 more levels to get yeah, to but my... Yeah, but also Nathan's point still lasts, yeah. uh, because until you know the level, there's no point. You have to go slow until you know the level. Yeah. It's pointless... Like you're you're assuming that you will be successful with your current strategy. <laughs> no, no, but like that's the strategy. And not going to be successful, that's right? True. So, and therefore, go slow. Yeah. Until can, you until you know the level, and then you can go as fast as you can go. Because those early levels, I'm blasting through because I'm familiar with them. I'm like, oh, I have to do that. I have to sit there. I have to stand there. Blow it. Go to the. Yeah. Because the early yeah. levels, you just go boop 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 boop. Yeah. So I am, as you saw, I got a higher, higher score because I'm getting faster on the earlier levels. You're going to be here for the end of the show? Come on. No, I'm a cat. I do not obey. That is not, that <laughs> is not a cat thing. I've had plenty of cats and many of them obey. You tell <laughs> oh, them, yeah, you tell the thing, they jump up. Even Fuzz, who was not a very obey cat. It's a mood thing. You just could he just couldn't control himself. You tap this enough. And then he'd be like, I also find now I have to go up there and kill that thing that's making that noise. <laughs> I also find if you tap and then ignore. Yes, ignore. Yes, it's a social, it's a social manipulation game. Like, you're learning skills that would have done us really good in high school. But, <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. like, better, than, better yeah. late than never. A couple decades later, <laughs> you learn them. Yep. Well, thank you very much, Dan. Really glad you liked the show. So we're going to be playing Astronomer as the next patch game. I don't know when that is. Um, it may not be the next show because we're going to be doing the uh, plus card extravaganza on the next show. Oh, we came up. Hello. Um, so we'll be learning all about the plus card on the next show. Hopefully I'll be playing remotely with Darcy. That'd be at 6 p.m. Tuesday. Are you good for that? I think so. Okay. Yeah. We'll check. Um, otherwise, we'll do it locally. Tan, you'll be on a laptop playing it. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything that would stop me on Tuesday. Hello, back right? to Brazil, Loft, Lofter side. Thanks for watching. Um, that is who. Um, uh, that when there was the the scroll problem. No, remember you were playing, and then you heard the babing, and you were like, "Oh, the, the, okay, thank you for yeah, um, following." Very, very cool. Uh, so next episode, we're going to be doing the plus cart, uh, Wi-Fi multi-cart special with the special game that has not been released. Thrust, Thrust wants to know. If second news. news. <laughs> the second news is there's no news. There's no news. <laughs> <laughs> no more news. And that's the end of the news. <laughs> uh, and, and we're going to be playing a brand new game. Not a new game. <clears throat> we're going to be playing a game over the internet using the plus cart remotely darcy will be on one end i'll be on the other uh the news is i don't know i don't know uh yeah the 7800 multi carts out everybody get it it's only five dollars <laughs> yeah everybody really wants that <laughs> uh, and we might be playing rail slider 
as well. Um, and that was the person who made the demo platformer game, but it's his first game, and I don't think I gave it a fair shake because half the time we're figuring out what the hell to do in it. Um, and so we'll see if there's enough room. I'll see how much there is to talk about in the plus card and play and experience with it. I know there is quite a bit to it. I really wish it knew if I'm trading in my 7800 card or if they're just doing the firmware. We'll have to see if the Concerto cart is a firmware update, which I think it might be just a firmware update because he's doing a lot of software stuff. Oh, he was talking about there was a uh, resistor that he needs to replace in the early 7800s uh. to help with errors. So if you're good with soldering, like really good with soldering, then you can do that. Voluntary recall, yeah, it was for a, a resistor. So if you're good at soldering, then you can do it yourself. But I think a lot of people said it's a little, a little more difficult. I think it's a pretty tiny one. Don't play it, it sucks. Are you joking? It's awesome looking and it, it's really crazy. Oh, Lilla Pudjken Pound, I'm sorry, uh, is in the chat. Welcome, we played your uh, demo platform. It was awesome. I want more and more and more and more of it, like hundreds levels of it. Uh, and then the next show after that, we're gonna be playing three games, three homebrew games as part of the High Score Club. Uh, Miss Galactopus, uh, City Defense, and Doggone It, which we could possibly play through the plus card and get it registered on their high score, automatic high score charts. That's one of the bonuses of the plus card, is that when you play the game and you're registered, your score automatically ah, goes to a high score. That's pretty cool. Yes. Just posted a screenshot from my desktop during Twitch screen. A screenshot of us screenshot of what screenshot of your desktop hmm i missed it but no rail slider please i have a new version yes please yes get in contact with me or i will uh, message you i would love to debut a new version of it it's a uh, twin stick game um and last time we had one person playing uh the shooting one player person uh playing the moving what was this oh it is us uh oh <laughs> do we look very silly <laughs> it's loaded up. Why is that so chunky and terrible? I suspect that there's it's from a, Atari age as well. This should not be slow. I suspect there's a connection between us losing the stream on this computer and this. Slow. I think so. <laughs> it didn't even load the whole thing. Can you re? Can you reload it's, that? Oh, it's, it's not even stopped. Not stopped yet. Okay, we'll wait for that. Nasty boy. <laughs> How about we load it on here? That's a better idea. Where I have a direct connection. Oh, it's something over Tar uh, Darcy's face. It's an Atari screen. It's him getting the patch score. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> and it's him with two lives left getting the patch score. <laughs> what level is it, though? Uh, that's a good question. Can't tell <laughs> on this shot. But he just started a new level. I don't know. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but well earned well earned oh we're still on no we're on that um where is the names there we go look closely closely i think it was the score oh that's old oh okay yeah, I yeah. Think it was yeah. we score. we saw that right away <laughs> it is not a mystery it just didn't load on our laptop <laughs> good job very good job i tried to do without losing any lives <laughs> uh-huh yeah okay i will play hero on an, another upcoming show i i know i can do it it's just i don't know it's that mix between memorizing the levels going fast on them and also being able to do the later levels what i'm saying though is that you can go back and see the the piece of the blue wall he's talking about <laughs> because no you idea. have a video oh uh, yeah that's you can look at each of the levels with hand, one hand behind your back too uh, no. Yeah, I guess you could. That would be very challenging. Um, so, well, well, you, where was I? You oh. could if you use the uh, epic oh. and your chin to move. Ah! That's a dead one. Um, no, we could do this. Thumb on it. 
and finger on the button. That'd be terrible. Yeah, oh, it's... Yeah, yeah. You could do it right-handed, too. Oh, it's not as easy. Oh, you could. Just put it down. Oh, yeah. That's fine. That's a good joystick for people with only one hand. <laughs> the rare, rare instances of it. I mean, the other joystick, the, um, the one with the button on the top and the trigger, I mean, that's the obvious solution yeah. for that. Um, so, yeah, one hand behind your back. You could easily do it with that joystick. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, on uh, next Friday we're going to be playing Miss Galactopus, City Defense, and Dog Gone It. Uh, three, well, two fairly new games. And Miss Galactopus is a fairly old game. Quick Shots would work. Quick Shots. Yeah, any anyone with a trigger. Mm. Uh, what is that? Look what I typed. A-D-F-D-S. That's for some reason on my schedule. Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> it's usually what I type when I don't know where my cursor is. It's like, where's my cursor? Oh, there it is. But I just yeah. didn't erase it. <laughs> you know what I did so to funny. solve that where's my cursor problem? I increased the size of my cursor. Uh... I no longer ever wonder where... I, I mean, I made it huge. <laughs> I made it like child size huge. Chunky. It's like, it's big. And it's still the point that's your pointer, right? It's, it's a... It, the size I made it made it slightly confusing because the point is so big that the very tip of the point is not no longer the point. Oh, is it outside of the point or inside? It's just, it's really big, no, the like, one I've used. But it's like the white part, not the black outline, but like the white tip. Oh, the white tip of it. Yeah. Oh, and you okay. could make it bigger than normal Yeah. and not have that problem. Mm. I'm telling you, it was revolutionary. See, that's cool too. On the Mac, if you move the cursor quickly, it'll temporarily make it bigger. Uh. So when you get to where you want to go, you're starting to move it slower and it gets back down to normal size. Mm. That's the best solution. Yeah, but it's not worth it to switch to a Mac for that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. I wouldn't <laughs> switch it just for cursor size. I'm sure there are programs you can install that'll do that, actually. Uh, Windows has a setting which highlights the cursor. Yeah, I, know there's I have one where you press control yeah. and it highlights it. And it yeah. goes uh, like a ring. Mm -hmm. okay. But I'm telling it's you, sonar. make your cursor bigger. It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> is it? Yes. Can you do like middle size? And not yeah, there's a bunch of sizes. I made it really big, but it doesn't have to be really big. I lose it all the you time. Because I, I have two massive screens, right? And you yeah, have a yeah. massive screen too. Yeah. One big massive screen. Yeah. You, have, yeah. you have two monitors. I only one use one. Side? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've had. I used to have. I used to have three going. I do have three screens. I usually only have two going unless I'm doing video. What editing. I really want is a little screen yes. for like chats and yes. things like that. Like a bunch of little separate screens, yes. and then you could have chats in them and things that you don't want to take up your main screen, but that you don't want a whole extra screen for, or don't need a whole extra. Usually, screen achieve for. small screens are cheap. Like. Uh, HDMI screens. There are USB screens that you just plug in. I Those want a great, little USB screen expensive. that is like, a, it's like you magnet it to the side of your screen. I want <laughs> they, like a little screen that's them. purpose built for that. They have them. I haven't they're, seen any they're that expensive. were like that. Look yeah, up yeah. USB. See, that's the other thing is I don't want to spend, I don't want to spend money you would describe as expensive for it. <laughs> <laughs> and these are more expensive than buying a small. Yeah, that's like, what I mean. Like, like yeah, yeah. HDMI screen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's better just to buy a small HDMI screen. Use less use less a smaller screen than you have. Useful when you have three screens. Yeah, I, I have constantly thought about an extra screen on the side that's like on a book reader, like a book holder thing that you can move around. Just try it right now. Just try changing your cursor size right now. <laughs> uh, it won't show up on the screen, will it? Yeah, it will to them if I show them something. Um what can it's I It's going to them? settings. I can show them the chat. Here's the chat. Um, I'm not going to show them my settings. No, no. I... So is it under mouse settings? Yeah, and it's... Uh... I can show them this. Sure. It's bigger for us anyway. Uh, adjust mouse and cursor size, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So you can change the pointer size. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, that is too big. Uh, the thing <laughs> oh, that's my tricky, God, that's awesome. The thing that's tricky with... It is awesome. On it really hand. is awesome. The thing that makes it bad is just <laughs> is that. nearly look at that that's that it, ridiculous it is great i mean i mean i don't have mine that big i but i have it actually i, I like i don't have it that big but i have it like 
Like no, bigger small? than that. That's that's small. small. I have it like that big. Uh, well, I have it like a six. One. I'm gonna go there. Oh, not that. There. Now, now bring it over here that. and see if that's. Yeah, that's more, yeah. way more visible. Yeah, and I and think the point outrageous. isn't. I think the point will not be uh, yeah. wrong for you there either. No. Also, if your screen, if you're going with a dark screen, then there's no problem with it. The only problem is my screens are 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 light, and so I actually see the outline more than I see the white of the cursor. And yeah. it's the white point that, and when you have a really big cursor and it has a big border, you know, actually you can, you can go down click the color one. Now it still has a border. Yeah. If you get one Not that didn't have a border. Well, what is it? A black border? Oh, you can't it's make a black, a black cursor. They're like, no, you're not making a black cursor. You'll lose it. Oh, you can. Oh no. What is this? Oh, value. Oh yeah. You get it on the side there. Okay. So let's go black. It didn't. I have to do done. Uh, but oh, it's too smart. When, where's the threshold then? Where's the threshold? Oh, but you have made it a black cursor. It's just that your border is now white. See, your cursor's black. But now it changes. Is there two borders? No, What? It, you're only able to change the color of your cursor, not the border. No, it did. When I did went it? black, it went to a white border. Yeah, you're not, yeah, but you're not choosing the border. I'm saying that you can choose the yeah. cursor color and then where it picks... Does it, where does it change though? To, to black. Oh, I see. Right? Yeah. Oh, there. there. Right there. Right 50%. In the middle. 50% yeah. gray. Oh, God damn it. It's right on. Does it say? Oh, 50. Yeah. Is it 49 or is it 50? Oh, 49. It's at 49. And then when you go to 50. Nope. It's 51. What? No, it's like 48. Or yeah. something, right? Like go down further. Because then it should change to white. Where is it go messing the, with go me? Go all the way to the bottom. It's okay. gonna change to white. There it's white, yeah. I'm gonna do it in halves. Yeah. Approximately half. Okay. Not yet. Thirty five. Not yeah. yet. <laughs> Forty three. Oh. Is it messing with me? <laughs> Oh, nope. 47. Yeah. 46. Ah, uh, 46, 47. That's Who chose that? That's Who? weird. Someone Who's needs programmer? to someone needs to be flogged. That's, <laughs> that's not right. That is so funny. <laughs> Zero page homebrew. Answering life's important questions. <laughs> yes, now you all know <laughs> that it changes at 46 and 47 yeah. on Windows 10 when you're on grayscale. <laughs> Actually, it probably changes on every color. Between 46 and 47. <laughs> Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we fiddle with Windows. <laughs> you know you like it. I think uh, the thing that made me, that uh, switched me to it, thinking of this, was like you can have your whole screen zoomed, where it keeps, it uses the high, it uses all the resolution, but it doesn't use all the desktop. You know what I'm talking about? Like how? Yeah, I don't yeah. like that. That's, I don't like it either. But wastes, when you do it that way, your cursor, I think, is bigger. Uh, well, yeah. And I, I was like, oh, that's that pretty useful. And I, I wish I could do that. And I looked it up and I was like, oh, you can. For Carl G that says, you know, you're getting older when you get excited over bigger cursors. <laughs> I would have always been excited over bigger cursors yeah. because I've got two 2K monitors. And one of them's a wide 2K monitor. It's so much real estate, and the yeah, cursor yeah. is so small that it's absurd. Yeah, I'll get that question next time. <laughs> Comes up on trivia night. <laughs> Who has the bigger cursor? He does, he does right now. <laughs> the, the, there is a cost to having it at like a. I think it's a six that I have, this five is, or six. This is fine for highlighting, but oh, when it gets great. bigger than actually, the... it actually it's problematic with highlighting too. It's so big that you ha that then you have to learn. Normally, uh, it's like new... a one pixel wide, and it's very obvious where it is. This but you is have like to figure it out. Pixels wide. It yeah. is. There's value. You get value for it, but there's a cost. You have to figure it out, right? Yes. And with the pointer, you have to like learn to put it at the white point, not the black point. And yeah. if your screen's dark, it's not tricky. Yeah. Like yeah. like uh, like if it, like when you're, if you're using program if you're yeah. using like your programming. Uh, um, program whatever yeah, editor yeah, yeah and it, you have it to like a dark um, which i i do black a dark 
Yeah, themes I have my things on light. I have light themes, and so Great. it's a pain yeah. for me. But anyway, we got to wrap up the show because I'm really hungry. We don't want you to rage quit zero page <laughs> homebrew. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sticked out to the very end of all the cursor talk. Um, thanks for tuning in, Carl G, Nathan Strum, Cast Captain Classics, Smitty B seventy eight hundred, RC seventy, Thrust twenty six, Flackets, uh, Little Po Ken Powen. You're gonna have to please type out when we talk how to pronounce your name phonetically. Or uh, you could just say hot, hotter, colder. <laughs> cold. Colder, cold, very no, cold. No, freezing, you're off. freezing. Yep. Oh my god. No, Nathan your Strom, nipples are falling right off. Yorgi's <laughs> Castle, uh, uh, Squeezy the Bean, oh, a new name. Uh, and and Yorgi's Castle is a new name as well. Dan ABC, Lofter Sid, thanks for following. Uh, Atomic Fuel Horror, that's a new name as well. Lots of new people, thanks for checking us out. Lots of the same people chatting. Al Nefer. Miss Command. Uh, I'll get into the top. And that's it for now, unless anybody snuck into the last second down here. Nope. Noon, perfect timing. Noon or midnight. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it be midnight where you are? Midnight, yeah, not noon. Uh, yeah, it's three o'clock. Very long show. It's noon somewhere. <laughs> It'd be noon in the Pacific Ocean. Maybe Hawaii? How far off is Hawaii? What, right now? Yeah. It, yeah, it's just past noon. No, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's... I don't it's, know how far off Hawaii is. It's, like, surprisingly far. Yeah, it's way out. Yeah, it could it's be like three times. It's, like, middle of the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, maybe even four. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back on Tuesday. We're going to be looking at the Plus cart and doing a whole bunch of fun internet-based Atari 2600 computing. And so make sure you tune in there. And uh, we are done till next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, everyone!